Yo, 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 what is up? Welcome and welcome in everyone, how are we are doing today? What's up, guys? Alright, we are back with some more Tales of Berseria tonight. Uh, yo, 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 hi, Nefri, how you doing? What's up, dude? Hello, Jeffalina. What's up, dude? I just didn't achieve it. I would have rated you so hard. I'm sorry, Nefri. I, look, I, honestly, I probably would have been on, like, maybe half an hour ago. But, uh, I got kind of distracted. I was putting together a, um, uh, a Magician Girl deck, uh, on, uh, for, on Yu-Gi-Oh! For, uh, a friend of mine, Venus, that, uh, she was wanting a... Because she was telling me that uh, her favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card is uh, Dark Magician Girl. And I knew there was a whole, like, build surrounding Dark Magician Girl. So I was like, I can look one up and, like, get back to you with a deck list. And she said yes. And I was like, okay. So I went ahead and actually made it. And, yeah. Raiding someone who uh, I'm not sure they noticed a raid. And neither, but you... Ah, Okay. Ooh, DMG, you're so nice. Dude. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the deck list is pretty cool. Like, the deck list is actually pretty good. It seems like uh, it's going to be, uh, like, plenty of fun in one. It doesn't seem like it's going to be all too difficult to uh, pull off either. Um, uh, It doesn't seem like super, like, do this, then this, then this, and this, and this. No, no, it doesn't seem like that that involves. It's very much just like, oh, you can do this to do this, and then if you want, you can also do this. And it's also, it, like, the way it works, too, is that, like, uh, so long as you have, like, a Magician Girl on the field, you have other, like, spells and whatnot that basically makes it so that your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, so how's your first uh, Tales game? It's been pretty fun. Uh, the story, literally, it's been, like, <laughs> no joke, it literally started like this. Or, hey, better, it started like this at the very start, and then just, poof, and then immediately after the beginning hit, it went shoo. <laughs> in where at this actually at the uh, end of last week, the story went from down here to shoo. <laughs> it just shot right back up. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, alrighty then. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been pretty fun and interesting to say the least. Uh, have you played Versaria or any of the TL Sun games, Nefri? I own um. And when, uh, since, uh, nine, I want to get up because I knew you would go live. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I would have been on a little earlier, but yeah, I was, uh, busy, like, putting together and actually, I actually own, like, not, well, own, quote unquote own. I actually was able to, um, actually fully make the Dark Magician Girl deck and was able to act, well, I guess Magician Girl because it's not just, uh, Anyways, um, um, and I was able to, like, actually put it together, and so I can actually use it now in a duel, which is kind of cool, because, uh, it, it only had two ultra rare cards that I, like, I had one of them already, and then the other one, well, it's, it's just the two, the rest are, like, su it's a lot of rares and super rares, but other than that, yeah. Uh... Nah, not yet. Ah, gotcha. No worries. Uh, ooh, a recipe discover. Orosorin Vikidswa? What? What the- Sure. Why not? Show him how I Freed's crew can sail. Okay, cool. Alright, I th think we are good to go. Let me actually just make sure I reread all the shit that I have. Because I actually found out that these buttons exist, which are actually kind of cool, in which you can use these immediately. Like, I don't know why it has, like, left the left stick plus, like, 
these buttons, I don't know if it's those two together, but it seems like these come out, like you can hit these when you're guarding, which are kind of nice and you can spam them too. So I went ahead and put all my fire shit on that. Uh, oh, you've been on since I didn't know. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's what you meant. Gotcha. Yeah, well, welcome in, Jeff. I hope you're doing well. Um, uh, and I hope you enjoy yourself here tonight. Uh, let me see. So, all my non elementals on X, all of my. Okay, Earth is on circle, water's on square, and then a triangle's my air. And then all of my guarding stuff is all fire. Okay, which one do I have on? Okay, so string dragon, string edge, nice. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yo, what's up, Pazbondo? I'm gonna go. I have a tune deck. Let me forget how to spell deck. It's D E C K. Pre is the Dorito. Oh my god. But yeah, though, uh, Jeff, uh, in the Discord, I actually have um, uh, my uh, ID in a pinned uh, message that Husbando has made for us, and several others that have decided to share their IDs for Yu-Gi-Oh! as well for uh, Master Duel. Um, uh, we all have ours uh, pinned on there. If you want to shoot us a follow, I would be more than happy to uh, duel you, Jeff, um, whenever, uh, whenever I'm on or whatnot. So I rescued this poacher who'd run away from one of those class four islands, right? She mentioned something about being hired by some chef to go hunt a rare wolf on the island, but she didn't see a single blasted critter on that island, let alone any rare wolf. Place was empty. Then why did she run away? Even though she never saw nothing, she kept hearing some beast howling round the island. Freaked her right out, I tell ya. When she got back to her boat, her food had been pilfered. And her ship was scratched up to hell. She wow. got out of there as quick as she could, but her ship sunk soon as she hit open water. Hmm. Sounds like whatever's there is as smart and manipulative as it is vicious. Sounds like. Later I heard some talk about how several exorcists had gotten killed on that island. If you plan on going, you'd best be very cautious. Ooh. A new, I can go to a new class four. Let's go. Let me reason my rank duel is so dumb. <laughs> rank duels are fun. Oh, they can be at least. All right. Uh, are there other side quests? Wait, I haven't been there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a little area there that I haven't been inside of yet. And I want to know why. And so when I said one in pass and the enemy surrenders, yeah. Also, don't worry about that. I literally just put my controller in my lap and ended up pressing the L2 button in the meantime. Oh, this is the church. Wait, that's actually really funny. Oh my god, it's an alley! What's up, dude? Alright, let's see. So... Okay, I can go ahead and eat myself out of here. Have you been, Alley? All right, let's go ahead and uh, save, and then we'll go ahead and check out that new island I just unlocked. Oh, well, okay, well, we're gonna talk to him first, he's gonna pass the story, and then we can go ahead. Sir, we just received a Sylph Jay from the boss of the Bloodwings. She has a job for us, and wants us to meet her in Logris. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, we need to see if that demon in the villa was actually a Therian. Good point. And the Bloodwings might know something about the other Therians, Tired too. all? We're I'm sorry. Logris. 
Prepare to set sail. Ready anytime. Ooh. Okay, so I have been here. I haven't been here. Let's go here then. The major is out at the moment. All we have is be Lieutenant Colonel BS. Oh my god, dude. I can leave a message for the major. Oh my god, this Vondo. But yeah, um, uh. Sorry to hear that you've been tired, but I hope things have been well nonetheless. Can I interact with this? No, I cannot. I can just run into it. Tell the major that he needs to present uh, for some BSing. Oh my god. Oh look, it's a cat's box. God damn it. I don't have enough. Re? Alright. Oh, that looks ominous and scary and yeah, everything beyond reason. Things have been amazing, actually. Really? That's awesome, dude. This is the same thing. Uh. All right, let's do it. Not worth my time. Weakness. Okay, so wolf are weak to wind. Boris weak to non-elemental. Marmots have nothing. Oh, very weak to the martial arts. I can hit them with non-elemental. Yo, VB, what's up, dude? Alright. So, let's see. Just go ahead and beat the shit out of this boar, get some shit, and then beat the shit out of everything else. And break. Ready to die? Really? Oh my god. Perfect mayhem! What's up, what did I miss? Actually, nothing so far. How's this? Uh, weak to water. Okay. Weak to Earth. All right. Yeah, not much though, VB. Literally just unlock this new uh, area here. What did you guys end up in a beach resort looking area and remind me about uh, the areas if you don't mind? So, all right. We ended up in a beach like area because uh, we were looking for one of Magilu's friends, so one of Futaba's friends, to help us. Uh, to help us read a book that was in an ancient text. Which they ended up doing for the most part. Um, uh, the Therians, so that comes down to what we read in the book. The Therians are, um, uh, I guess you could say ahead of the ten headed dragon. Uh, in where there are, I think it's seven Therians. Where each Therian provides, uh, food for the dragon. In where we have already encountered, like, I know that, uh, it's supposedly, uh, what's her face, uh, Velvet is supposed to, supposedly a Therian, and we have already come in contact with two other Therians, so that means there's four more. Uh, so, yeah. Therians, uh, they feed on malevolence, which is literally, like, yeah, so, yeah, malevolence is literally like just the negative emotions in a person's soul that, um, uh, much like the final days is, uh, yeah. The only thing, though, is that, um, uh, it seems like it wasn't until people could actually see, uh, the, uh, Moloch's that they would also be able to see people transform into beasts. Other than that, you people typically wouldn't be able to um, see them in their transformed state. They, they would still look human, they would just seem to be a little more ravenous for whatever, for whatever reason. Beach episode went. We basically already had a beach episode. Uh, 
<laughs> exhibit amazing reasons. That's awesome, dude. How are uh, how's the kid? Uh, did you see the Rory Calculus is the master tool? Yes, I actually already have it. It uh, <laughs> I used it in my turtle stack, which I actually earlier today managed to finish. All right, and let's beat the shit. Okay, so we to win. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude! Alright, let's see. Uh... Non-Elemental and Earth. Okay, come here. Oh my god, why? Really? Oh, I hate it. Up him out. I guess he's being surrounded. Is that Hasbanda? There is no official instrumental version of the character themes in a GGS. I got credit according to GGS. Whoa! I got some new boots. And I got feather light steps. I got even more boots. Damn. Let's go. What's up? Don't drop your stuff. That's not good. No, no. So don't do it. Good. All right. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, I guess low grass. What's up, stream? You joining yeah. in tonight or not? Not at all. I'm waking up at the same time you're going to bed. Gotcha. I lost my mother to a demon. Yet that girl's a Therian. Coffee Dan, yes. I don't even know what I want anymore. Bro for <laughs> That's pretty. You like to look at that thing, don't you? I'm just the themes yes. for you guys, uh, streams, but the vocals kind of kill the mood. important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. The themes? At it what? Gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Ah! What's wrong? My face. <laughs> It's oh, scary. that's right. She didn't know. I forgot she didn't know. I don't want to look like that. I don't want my mommy to hate me. I don't know. I don't know either. Mommy. She was an, she's an eight-year-old child that was turned into mommy. a beast by the church. When I was her age, that's just. Oh, and she I devoured think. her mother as she was dying. Come on, I want about right. you to see this. <coughs> that huge owie. What happened? Yeah. Yeah, I It's sleep. big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things notice? about my body, too. Hmm? But. So I'm gonna see some, okay. I just noticed scary, what's Kamalana? up. No, not at all. But are you alright? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. 
I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamalana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me, not your mother, not Lafayette. No, I'm making some. You don't have to right. cry anymore. It'll be okay. I promise. Okay. Get scared, Ellie. No. Was it from a demon? Yeah. They attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? <laughs> the last thing she said to me was, "Stay strong and keep living." Oh. I have a love-hate relationship with how cursed Grimoire freaking. Says she's learned something from the book. Oh, cool. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. Aha, uh -huh, sure. Sure. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafayette read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've got. Thank you for the reason, Hispondo. I appreciate it. Ten and months is a long that time. That passage means that Inomi Nacha and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inomi Nacha to create Therians, the song means that Inomi Nacha chooses who becomes Therians. <laughs> But so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? That someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana. Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual. As I well know. Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again. Or it oh, could be that a different Therians will be born like, oh, to gotcha. their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inomi Nats reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Mm. So, in a nutshell, mm. if you kill one, another person who's receptive to Inomi Nats power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back. Or kill them. Sounds tricky. We gotta protect my bug, too. Yeah. You take real good care of that thing now. Got it? You bet I will! In that mm. case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. <laughs> we need a hard to My find God. spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm. The prison? Somewhere devoid of people, but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inomi Nats reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. Oh my god. Fucking it, <laughs> Oh. So what I'm hearing... Uh, just talking to Shadow Brother, so it sounds good. Uh, so what I'm hearing is we fight... Uh, we are fighting a Hydra because multiple heads. 
And that means humans going to the Idris back. Toast for series and Hercules confirms Danny DeVito! Yes. Hey, old man! Give me That's all how that works. Food you got. Wait your turn, moron! Okay. I was drifting out at sea for three days. Almost died out there. We here, poor you. You probably deserved it. Say that again, wise ass. I dare you. Ah, uh, shut wow. up, both of you. No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first. Uh, Lol? are they going to be okay? Don't pay them any mind. Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh, yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to more here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. You guys it suck. With the job. Let me at him. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted. That's fair. I'd break his legs. Why? Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, actually. Excuse me, Que? I am not fond of the jacketless look for Eleanor. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the just the pure singular color. I like the blue on top of it. It looks much nicer. And then I burn off an arm. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot I uh, killed two thingies. Oh yeah, I killed the Kraken. I forgot about that. I took out the Harpy and the uh, Harpy Kalucky. And the Kraken. I'm actually slightly surprised, yet not at the same time, that I got a, like, I was able to kill a Kraken. Or that we were given the chance to kill a Kraken. Just when are we going to be allowed free access through Vortigern? Having to go all the way around it every time is far too inconvenient. They insist on building a big gate over the sea. The least they can do is let honest folk through it. I get why you're upset. But maybe they just haven't been able to devote the resources to fix it after those savage demons wrecked the place. Look, those demons who attacked Helavis are still on the loose, aren't they? Yep. Standing right here. From what I heard, yep. the demons who wrecked Vortigern were the same ones that killed the High Priest. What? No way. Wait a minute. The High Priest was killed? Yeah. The official story is that he's injured or sick or something. But I heard differently. Then no wonder they haven't had time for Vortigern. I hope the Abbey finds those demons quick. Those monsters need to pay for what they did. Hmm, looks like our infamy is growing by the day. Maybe they've even put a bounty on us by now. They keep embellishing our escapades, though. I'm honestly a little hurt they're calling us monsters. The more they embellish, oh God, the dude. easier it is for us to get around. Confusion and panic will only help us. That's a true fact, actually. Oh, cool. So if I hit me with the flashbang, all I said was white and good. This would be big. What the what a treasure? The Orisorin the Orisorin brothers? A trio of dolls found drifting across the crystal crystal iron sea. One represents strength, one beauty, and one craftsmanship. Black Shiba Ino Tail has been Scout found. Ship settings Okay, so I still need. Okay, I still need to unlock the new area now because I already have all these now. Jesus. All right. That's that's adorable. What are those dolls supposed to be? Otters? No, they're Orisorin. Never heard of them. 
They are a curious race that, that is said to have descended from otters. Alas, they all vanished from this world long ago. Interesting. Anyway, these dolls are incredibly lifelike. What craftsmanship. Indeed. I keep expecting them to turn and blink at me. And their fur is so delicate and soft to the touch. Wait. Do you think that fur is the real thing? Were these actual orisorum? Please don't say such dreadful things. Th so those otter brothers are essentially Gucci, Alvin, and the chipmunks. Gotcha. <laughs> you know? You're not wrong. You have your red, you have your blue and green, and then the only one that's out of order is the yellow one. Oh my god. Hey, come here. Alright, everything's all fixed up. Now to polish this ship from top to bottom. You really throw your back into your work, don't you? Why shouldn't I? The Von Eltias, our pride and joy, our weapon. And most importantly, our home. I'm sure you've heard this before. But she's one odd-looking <laughs> ship. The Von Eltia was built by the Kingdom 12 years ago, using the very best technology available. She was designed for search and seizure operations on the high seas. Apparently, her unusual design comes from an engineer who is familiar with technology from the far continent. But on her maiden voyage, a string of mysterious accidents took the lives of the captain, then the second, and then the third in command. People thought the ship was bad luck. She was about to be scrapped when Captain Eifried came and snatched her for himself. If the ship was bad luck, why did Eifried want it? Well, I'm sure part of it was that he wanted a sturdy ship capable of reaching the far continent. But when I asked him why, he said, she looks interesting. She's too interesting if you ask me. Oh my me. god. We've been chased by storms, struck by icebergs, attacked by a giant whale. You name it. Three years ago when the first mate arrived, it all made sense. To think we'd been haunted by a reaper the whole time. Oh, come on. Don't go blaming the captain and the first mate for every bad thing that happens. I bet you're all just frustrated because you're forced to go where they tell you. None of us are forced to be here. We're here because we choose to be here. And we do so fully knowing what sort of men the captain and the first mate are. Anyone can leave the crew whenever they like. We're free pirates, each of us, here because we want to be. Some of us love adventure, some are looking to test their fate, and some are just searching for a good place to die. We're a that's ragtag bunch of rogues, fair. that's for sure. But not a one of us has died carrying regret or resentment. So we're glad to help out you and yours. But you'd best not forget what we stand for. I won't. They're quite the crew, aren't they? Were all those accidents truly caused by your power? Yeah. I've been searching far and wide for a way to lift the Reaper's curse. But when I couldn't find a single thread to follow on this continent, I turned my eyes to the other side of the ocean. And that's that why actually you makes ship. sense. And a fine ship she is. The Von Eltia was built from 1,000-year-old wood, you know. Before I found my coin, she was my vessel. But then the accidents came. Oh. <laughs> Did he know you were on board? Definitely. He had pretty solid resonance going for him. Although at first, I think he assumed I was just a dour-eyed lover worthy of little notice. I suppose being a reaper tends to take its toll like that. <laughs> no argument there. But still, whether they could see me or not, they didn't act any differently at all. I fought my damn curse with everything I had. And Eifried and his crew fought right along with me. Hell, we even finally made it to the far continent. And you didn't find anything there? To help with your curse? I didn't even look. But that's why you went there, isn't it? Eventually, I just got tired of fighting back. The crew, they taught me how to feel alive. And the joy of pursuing my dreams alongside good friends. Wow, well, okay. Alright, I got chests to go get.
Okay, so there's something in the inn that I need to go check out. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. Didn't I get a whole bunch of, like, freaking shoes or whatnot? Burning Dash. Yo, it's a still it with the raid. Everybody coming in with the raid that doesn't know who I am. Hello, I'm Sephiroth, 727, to my friendship with the family. Focuses around Final Fantasy content. Man, I just found some premium I heard sake. That the in Port Renied are making hey, I'm gonna pause this. So, tonight I'm here hanging out on some Tales of Berseria. Just kinda, it's my first time ever playing any of the Tales games. I'm honestly enjoying it. The story's started ramping up again. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it and whatnot. I started actually, like, barely even 40 minutes ago. I'm just here, like, barely even getting through it and whatnot. But anyways, I digress. For those of you that are hanging in my chat that doesn't know who still is, he's an absolutely wonderful human being. Does uh, plenty of uh, variety content himself uh, from uh, Overwatch to also Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that. And also, well, occasionally also branch out to some other things as well with friends. And it does a lot of stuff with friends and whatnot. Really cool, uh, really cool dude. Really fun uh, to hang out with him. Highly recommend doing so. How was your stream though, dude? You got, uh, you able to get a lot of dubs in? And also, Pandagorix, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. What's up, what's up? Anybody else that is lurking about, feel free to continue lurking about. Now I'll be going ahead and doing my own thing. A killing now that the Seagate is shut tight. No, no, no. Nothing compared to a merchant like you. There are people profiting from this? What are you talking about? Anyone who wants to head to North Gan has to sail around West Gan now. And those ships need to put into Port Renied for supplies. That is true. Still, it's only until Vortigern is repaired. Your friends in Renied wouldn't happen to be paying off the Abbey to delay repairs, would they? You think that'd work on the Abbey? They're not as lax as the church was. So that's it. You're in cahoots with the church. Hey, relax. I'm just saying. There's a lot of nasty rumors circulating about those priests. So not everyone's been hurt by Vortigern's closure. Interesting. There's a front and back to every coin. Except your coin only ever turns up tails. Lol? <laughs> he got called out. Oh, an amber spear. <laughs> Colorful waistcoat. Capability versus crustaceans. Interesting. Cool. All right. Um. All right. Where am I going? Okay, I need to head south. Okay. All right, let's see. All right, so we're gonna head south. I'm actually wondering if, or not even if. Oh. The Bloodwing butterflies operate in the Empire shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Yeah, something Dark like that. and interconnected is the underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper-thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, 
The Blood Wings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange oh? for information that could lead us to Artorias. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yeah. Yes. What nah. Information on the shepherd who rules the world. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. <laughs> Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Priest was harming the people of the city. You're right. The incident with the Nectar was the Church's failing. And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we had thought. They knew about the barrier at the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at Dove Mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? <laughs> Dove Mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested dove, wasn't Oh my it? god. A black, full-chested dove? Is that some sort of underworld code word? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Alright, uh... Ow. Here we are, back in Logris. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. More funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo coo! I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You know how she can get. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it too. I'm sure you did, right? Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. <laughs> I might have just a little... Say it like a dove. It was funny. Coo coo. How are they still alive? Honestly, I'm just like, Velvet is likely just gonna beat the shit out of all of them. Is Inominot's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah. She said it was written in ancient Avarost, a language that uses Impressionist script. I've never heard of Impressionist script. What? Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some modest records on its grammar and structure survive, but none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah, it's completely unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avarost civilization grew too far and came to its final end. Huh. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In oh, case, they were elegant. Sounds like okay. deciphering that writing will take quite a while. So they were basically elegans. Gotcha. So, t uh, so Tiny is uh, the healer, so he saved everyone else. I don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, Velvet's you not gonna be, be the shit out of him. Like, wait. So the peacocks are weak to fire. You're weak to earth, and you're weak to earth. Crash through! Shut up! Are you weak to Holy crap! You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Oh yeah, get EXP bonus if I actually come here. Time to dish out spanking. Die. 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 Die.
You're wide open! Die or be killed! That's all, huh? Oh, cool. It's dead. Yes, yes, I know. I'm incredible. So these things are totally different, I'll right? Let's go. Let's go. Die. I need to go to a birthday, but I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna keep you on. Like, all right, no worries. I appreciate you for stopping by. Hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your time, and I'll see you next. Uh, no, well, not next time. I'll see you later on. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hey, drink forever. It sounds good to me, dude. I'll finish this now. Oh, come on. Oh, well. There we go. We're finished here. Let's go. All right, I believe we go south, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wait, where is this at? Oh, I can't even go here. Okay, so where is this? Okay, so I go south still. Logress. Yep, so I still continue south. Okay, cool. I'm going the right way. Let's go. Come on. Not worth my time. Oh damn! All right. You're just lucky I made it quick. Hmm. God, there's so many of these guys. Looks like you all over the freaking place. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Holy crap. Is everyone all right? I just realized, are they mastering all this shit and I'm just an idiot? Um, they actually might be. Yep, she actually mastered that. Okay, yeah, so that's my windring is mastered, so up we go. Here I go with the flame ward. Uh, let's get rid of that one. All right. I won't run away. Eat it. Meet to Earth, okay. No escape! Barak! Too slow! No escape! Barak! Pummel! Windlands! No escape! Crash here! Barak! Wind! Kill the Take that! There we go. Yes, yes, I know. I'm incredible.
Cool. And we have returned to Logris. Man, the capital sure is big. Yeah, with historical buildings and artisans and all, there's much of interest here for a boy who loves to learn. Uh-huh. Sightseeing's nice and all, but don't wander off and get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about him. He can take care of himself. I know. I was just saying. You know, Velvet, that's the point. All right. Uh, there's actually one chest here that I can go ahead and get. Uh, ooh, shiny. Okay, there's two people here I can talk to. You look like travelers. I have some good news for you. The restrictions on travel to the Aldina Plains are going to be lifted soon. The road's opening back up. So, that's the latest word on the streets? <laughs> I oh see my what god. You did there. I try to liven things up around here. <laughs> well, ever since Lord Artorius became the shepherd, demon attacks have gone down. The world's filled with hardships, but perhaps things are starting to go in the right direction. Perhaps. The demons who nearly destroyed Helavis are still skipping about on the loose, though. What? And just the other day, a village near Isalt was destroyed by the demon blight. Guess the capital doesn't mind, though. What? Don't worry about it. Your shepherd and the abbey are going to save the world, right? Um, Law? You has kind of gotten me all nervous again. If you hear any other scary stories, let me know, please. Hmm. I've got one with fresh blood, melted bodies. Oh, oh, maybe that tale about the demon doll that comes alive. If you're going to waste time, we're leaving you here. Well, that's enough of this detour then. Sorry to be such a drag. Wait, that doll one sounded really cool. Fucking, oh my god, dude. Melting bodies, though. That that sounds pretty uh, gnarly, to say the least. What's with this crowd? Majalu's troop just put on a real show. Man, it was the best. Her dancing was every bit as great as I'd heard. Wow, the Majalu? Surely you mean Mogilu. Has my time to bask in fame finally come at long last? No, we're talking about Majalu, not Mogilu. <laughs> you know, Lulu, the famous dancer? She actually goes by the majestic Lulu, but everyone calls her Majalu. Oh, I guess that makes Just sense. Just watching the beauty of her dance. You can't help but feel like maybe everything's going to turn out okay in the world. Sounds like a pretty cheerful act she has. Cheerful? This is all a rip-off! She's just trying to pass off as Mogilu's menagerie and profit from our good name. What good name? We don't actually perform anything. I know! I was planning on getting started eventually, but now this con artist comes along and ruins everything. I can't just ignore that, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. <gasps> it's Modulu! You did great today, Majalu. I loved it. Thank you so much. But according to Interesting my teacher, dancers I still attire. have a long way to go. I'll work hard to do better next time, so I hope you'll come see me. Majalu's teacher is a dancer named Balta, whose immense talent brought him all the fame in the world. But Balta suffered a tragic injury that took him forever from the stage, and now Majalu was working hard to carry on his dream. Huh. So... You're Majalu, then? I am. My teacher and I work really hard to put on performances that'll leave a lasting impact. And I refuse to let anyone call me a phony. Wow. How do you oh, shit. Me? Taking it to the stage and seeing which one of us can better hold a crowd? Yes. That's just what I was hoping for. Lulu, don't go around picking petty fights. But, sir, this woman, she... You should know better. If you have the energy to spare spitting vitriol at people, you should refocus that anger into moving your body. That's If you need fair. to express yourself, do it on the stage. Y yes, sir. You're right. <sighs> Teacher, is the pain acting up again? It's no matter. What does pain compare to losing the ability to dance? Anyway, what matters is how you're holding up. I'm fine, um, sir. I 
Good. Then let's head back and practice some more. <laughs> he seems strict. He does. But keep in mind that Balta recognized her talent at a young age. He even adopted her so he could pass on everything he knew. He might be strict, but only because he believes in her. You sure know an awful lot about them. I'm sort of a fan of theirs, you could say. I couldn't tell. A teacher and his student chasing after the same dream. What a sweet little story they have. Yeah, as far That's as why uh, I think hang on, I'm gonna pause her quickly. As far as the whole like, make sure you like, instead of like arguing or instead of like picking fights or whatnot, so go leave that shit for the stage. Yo, I've been told that like so many times, or at least like while uh, like I've heard it, not told that specifically, but like I've heard it so many times while um, um I was in marching band where like people would be like have like a flux of different emotions going on all over the place, and they're like, yo. Leave it for the practice. Leave it for the competition. All the anger and shit. All your, like, this, like, loathing or whatever that's going on. Leave it for the field. Then put the shit on the field. It'll be better. Trust me. <laughs> I time for Maki Lou's Menagerie to put on a show. And for our act, we'll be a comedy duo. A comedy? A comedy. What? That idea. You heard me propose a challenge to little Majalu, right? But not one of you knows a single acrobatic trick. Sorry, don't apologize. You couldn't have seen this coming. Well, you could act like you feel a little bad at least. Now, normally I'd make you guys do something flashy like jump through a ring of fire, but I'll be magnanimous and let you do comedy instead. With comedy, I can take control of the stage and keep things lively. I can feed you the audience on a platter. But, but going on the same stage as Majulu, it's too much to handle. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to take her down a peg or two. I'm out. I don't even know why you're bothering. It's hopeless. It's not hopeless. Plus, if we do well, we'll be raking in the dough. What better opportunity do we have to get started than now? After all, people will come thinking we're Majalu's troop. You're sure eager to profit off of her good name. That's exactly the material I want. Oh Keep my throwing out God. such zingers and the audience will be in stitches. I'm not sure I follow, but okay. The only thing getting thrown out is gonna be you. <laughs> you know, I think okay. you could pull off being the straight man in our act. What? Keep your compliments to yourself. This plan might sound dumb, but more money never hurts. Eisen. Wait, is this actually gonna happen? But it's settled. Now we just need to book ourselves a few gigs. I've got an in with all the stage directors in town. For now, I think everyone should pair up so we can figure out just what sort of comedy chops you all have. Everybody? Even me? Certainly. Each one of you is a part of Moggy Lou's menagerie, after all. I... I'm not so sure about this. Um... What did we just... I... How is this gonna go down? Show him how What are we getting into? I semi fear for anything that's about to transpire out of this. I'm not gonna lie. Sanctuary, what? Oh, okay. I am intrigued myself. I am too. Okay, so there's two other side quests down here, and there's one in the sanctuary, which I feel like it's gonna be the freaking, like, priest that we fuck with again, which that's gonna end up being funny. Oh look, this is the whole ass side quest chain, like side quest chain line, or like chain side quest line. It's fine. I know how to words. Oh look, a chest. Whenever I hear Magilu's name, 
I can't help but think of Magilanica. Magilanica? Who's Ooh. that? Oh, she's just a girl who worked as part of the freak show. Talked to spirits nobody else could see. That's her, all right. She had many mysterious powers. Like moving things without touching them and divining where people would find lost objects. For a time, people called her the Little Witch. She was pretty popular. Thanks to her, the rest of the troop took in plenty of cash. Or so I hear. Yeah, but eventually they took it too far, and the kingdom tried them for heresy. I hear Magilanica was subjected to really brutal torture. True fact. Everyone knows this story. Well, I've never heard it. That's not too surprising. It all took place when I was a young woman myself. Remind me, Magulu. How old are you again? What? How old I was you literally thinking am? the same thing. Well, from your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. I I'm over here like wait was that is Magilanica supposed to be Magilu? Question mark? Hello? Like there's no way they need to make that that obvious, is it? Is it? Yeah, how's the game going? It goes good tonight, actually. We're getting uh, into some interesting side quests here. I have just found a side quest line that it seems like is gonna actually have a whole ass like chain to it. Uh, but first, there is one. All right, before I continue the side quest line, there is a thing that I want to do here. Oh, wow. There's a... Okay. Okay, so there's a side quest in here. Aha, it is with the priest. There's a lot of people here, actually. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No, all I wield are my swords. <laughs> well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go, but the next time... I'll kill him. Uh, no, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. The turns have tabled, indeed they have. They certainly have indeed. You are not wrong about that. Oh my god, though. I was not ready for that one. All right, so there's a side question right here. When will the high priest return to us? Keep this between us, but I heard Lord Gideon was killed by demons. Surely that's not true. It most certainly is true. Hey, shh, they'll hear you. I know someone who works in the palace, and he said the demon was a girl with the head of a wolf and the body of a gorilla. But how could a <laughs> demon have gotten into the palace? Apparently, there was oh. a power struggle among the higher-ups, and Gideon's enemies snuck the demon into his villa. They say that's why people sometimes heard terrifying screams coming from the place. Oh, is the demon still there? No idea. Rumor says she escaped, but I wouldn't worry. There's no way she'd stick around here. That's what you think. She's right here, so you'd better watch out. Stop messing around already. 
The head of a wolf and the body of a gorilla. That is one way to, like, describe how velvet looks. Damn. Some shit if I... T <laughs> I'll tell you what. The nights are so cold of late. It's gotten harder to get flamestone, too. I hear the port at Helavis is at a near standstill. No matter how much flamestone they mine from Mount Killeraus, they can't get it shipped out. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of the situation. It's not just us who are suffering. We have to endure. Times like these is when we need to practice Lord Artorius's teachings. The many outweigh the individual. Exactly. I'm sure Lord Artorius will think of us soon and send aid. He doesn't give a damn about any of you. How dare you! The many outweigh the individual, right? Artorius wants to save humanity as a whole. Your individual troubles aren't important to him. You have no idea what you're talking about. Aren't we part of the whole he wants to save? What happy fools. Oh Sorry my God. about that. She didn't get to see his speech, so she's been taking it out on everyone around her. Really? What a troublesome kid. But really, that speech was incredible. Oh my God. Sure, Eleanor, let's go with that. Hello? A mysterious potion that restores an ally's BG by two while in battle. Wow, that costs so much. I know I can do it, but damn. I'll buy one. Just so I can have one. It costs so much, though. Oh my god. Okay. If I want to do this... I need to actually go to Port Zexen? Okay. Hold on. All right, this is gonna be sex and stuff entrance. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. If this is, all right, let's okay, let's see how this turns out. Let's let's just see how this turns out. I can honestly only imagine what will end up happening here. Uh, that chest is already open. Could you fit my comedy act into tonight's show? I'm still breaking in my new partner, but I can carry the act. I'd appreciate you squeezing us in. For you, Maggie, dear, I'll do it as a personal favor, but you get 200 flat. No expenses, no per diem. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. It gets worse. Our headliner is doubling up after, and the opener flubbed their lines and lost us minutes. Playing deuce for a cold house? Well, all right. Them's the breaks. What the hell are you even saying? I'm what? saying what's going on, and you are my straight man. What? You are serious? <laughs> I'll take care of the actual funny bits. Just act like you always do, and we'll be fine. Bonus points if you toss the men in the audience a glare of contempt every now and then. Just trust me. Oh, hold on. This is all <laughs> happening so fast. I'm not sure I'm ready for... You'd better get ready, because the curtain's going up. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not going to lie. Your lovely comedians for today! Magic Kazam! We're still new to the comedy business, but we'll do our best to give you a memorable show! Now, I'm Moggy, the bright beaming one in the pair, while my moody little partner here is... <laughs> hey, what's wrong, Belle? Everything okay? You need to put some energy into this, or we're in trouble! Come on! If you've got one redeeming feature, it's your moxie! <laughs> that might be, but this is different. I can see you're going through something right now. All right, let's take a deep breath together. <laughs> Excuse us for just one moment. <laughs> Velvet, what are you doing? We're losing the audience. Uh, I can't help it. 
They've never talked in front of such a big crowd before. Wait, don't tell me. You've got stage fright? S so what if I do? That's so unlike you. Just pretend that you're fighting some nasty exorcist and give it some gusto. Easy for you to say. I'm embarrassed out here. Don't be such a girl! I am a girl! <laughs> Just do that, but project your voice! I can't, and I don't want to. <laughs> You're a comedian, you have to! Where's your passion for your newfound art? <laughs> I'm not one, and I've never had any. No, I can see it within you, deep down, the burning passion of a true artist at heart! I've had enough! I can't do this with you! <laughs> Sorry, folks, show's over. <laughs> wow! Really? Well, you've certainly shown me something new. A comedy team that just stands on stage whispering to each other. We're going for a brand new comedic style. So, what did you think? <sighs> Don't quit your day job. That's what I thought. Ah, now she plays the straight <laughs> man. Can we do this again? <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Maggie and Val, eh? Don't quit your day jobs. Fuck it. Uh, I'm sad that's where it ends. No, I want my... I need a fucking encore in here. Oh, black sunglasses, Shiba Inu ears. <laughs> Quick load the previous save. Oh, my God. That was so good though, honestly. <laughs> Stop being a girl! I am a girl! <laughs> that was actually okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was actually really great. That was that was that was totally worth it. Oh, wait, it's right here. I'm dumb, it's right here. Eleanor, I need you to wait outside. The boss of the Blood Wings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients who wouldn't appreciate their faces being known to the Abbey. Correct. Luffy said, you stay with Eleanor. Okay. I'll be back soon. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh, it would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs> I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low, but we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. 
Really? It's an island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has so the situation I was right. ever gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think it might work. Yeah. Could make a decent hideout, actually. The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody-goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Oh, really? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. All right. Then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Aizen, I heard about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, you really blew that one, toots. <laughs> it's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set him up as a trap for us, and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It actually that's is pretty clever. Would do. That's all. Yeah. Um, uh, shoot, did I say hi? I thought I did. If not, I'm so sorry. I hope you're doing well, dude. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you some of the sights. Oh my god. But, um... You... You can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well... We'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just, you know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. <laughs> Monka S, yes. Who is that caped man? I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. I feel like I've seen that bird before, too. I what can't remember it? where. I smell something nice. Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> okay! <laughs> it can't be. Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! Uh -huh. They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But we're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite. That's a true fact.
I like that bird seems familiar and I'm wondering who that oh okay now I'm wondering who the hell the person in the cape is where are we going Zexon Uh Okay, nope, we're good here. Um uh... All righty then, I believe. I just need to save here, then go ahead and talk to people. We set sail, and then we go find out what the hell is going to happen on Titania. On Titania. Wait, okay. Why are there two different ways of saying Titania and Titania? Where it's like the same thing, but I'm just like... This is bull crap. You're gouging us just because you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous. Hmm? Looks like they're at it again. Uh. Uh. <sighs> what? Huh? What's happening? Benwick, snap out of it! Benwick! Huh? I was haggling for supplies and. Tell you what, I'll give you a fair price. Actually, just take what you need. What? We should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity, rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit. What? That? Uh, are you sure? Uh, uh, no. Wait, what was I saying? What the hell just happened? You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah, it disappeared, but I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain, a Moloch's zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? <clears throat> I don't know. And I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here and quickly. So, the suppression. Quay? Who is you? Well, oh, there's a side quest now. Cool. That was certainly off putting. But our job with Tabitha comes first. And we need a hideout soon, too. True enough. Okay. Hey, geezer, you all right? What nonsense are you spouting, youngin? That's one spirited old man. Well, it's just that you suddenly got all polite on me, and you were all like, Oh no, good chum, worry not about your debt to me. I thought I said stop spouting nonsense. It's not nonsense. You did say it. I heard you say it. He did, but we were all acting strangely. You said, after you, fine sir. And I said, no, 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 I simply couldn't. You first, dear friend. There's no way in hell I would ever let you go first. Come to think of it, that's right. But he said not to worry about our debts, and now he's taking it back? That's inhuman, cruel, ruthless. They lost control of themselves, but still have their memories. Maybe something was manipulating them. What in the world happened to us? I don't get it, but what I do get is that he said we don't owe him nothing. So my debt to you is off, right, old man? Same here. Same here. Oh my Shut god. Traps. I'd be flat broke if I let you knuckleheads off the hook. Now shut up and pay up. Something really strange happened here. Seems so. And I think this is just the beginning of it. That was... Alright, that's some gnarly power. I'm not gonna lie. That's like definitely like, extraordinarily gnarly. Um, oh. Rock-headed fish helmet. 
Ooh, Centurion Isles. Scout ship said. Also, I just remembered that I actually got uh, Shiba Inu ears. Oh my god! And also black sunglasses. That actually doesn't look that bad. I know she has the freaking. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, I'm not overly fond of like the sides not being filled in there, like between the glass itself and the frames. I'm not really fond of that. I mean, I get that that's literally just like a fashion bit, but it's nah. I don't like it. All right, to the prison we go. All right, we're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, mystery monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Ilmid Asgard. Crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. What? So he's next in line, is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, your highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. For a fellow born with silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Princey Pooh is rather laid back. <laughs> Prince Percival Punt him is an wide. man renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me, at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely can't take that possibility off the table. When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life, too. That is true. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The prince. He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. The whole island's a prison. It's like a secret fort or something. Yep. Weirdly quiet, though. That too. Yeah. I don't see a single exorcist on watch. Hmm. Let's scope out the inside. I wonder why it's so empty. Seems weird to say the least. Huh. You know, I wasn't sure if I would ever end up coming back here, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. Do I still have this all mapped out? I do. Interesting. Oh, there's one room I haven't been to. Okay. Okay, so there's a... Oh, okay, so there's a room there that I haven't been able to check out. Gotcha. An exorcist. Are you all right? <laughs> Headless nights back. 
She's dead. The headless knight is back. Monkey. Think this is the demon that attacked her? Mm, another prison riot? Unless that is one of the Abby? Kurogane, dial. You two protect Kamoana and the prince. Got Understood. It. Stupid monkey, you're giving me a headache. Stay sharp. This one must have survived the riot. Sprinted photon. No escape. They were nothing. Ooh, cool. So did the Abbey actually fail to quell the riot? I find that hard to believe. The prison was heavily staffed with exorcists. Perhaps it was venomization. Venomization? A dark ritual. Forcing demons to eat each other in order to produce ever stronger demons. So the demons devoured each other, creating a demon too powerful for the exorcists to control? I imagine the riot didn't help. Now, whose fault could that have been, I wonder? Whatever happened doesn't matter to us now. We need to focus on how to take this place for ourselves. That exorcist from before said something about a headless knight, right? That one's probably the leader. Then we hunt it down and destroy it. Until we capture the island, let's use this room for our staging ground. I'll leave the prince and Kamoana to you two. Eliminate any enemies who come in. Understood. Don't expect much from me, but all right. Kamoana, if anything happens, call for me and I'll come running to protect you, okay? Okay. You stay safe too, Eleanor. Let's go. I forgot how good the music to this place was. Damn. Is that huh how did I only just now notice that this camera thing was here Fists. Oh, that's right. I forgot people already. All right. That was it. Looked like a stage just now. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, I need the garish pink shirt. 
but she's mastering that right now. Is that the only thing? Yeah, that's the only thing. Okay, cool. This island reeks with malevolence. I imagine it's emanating from go. all the big old demons roaming about. No There we go. Its guardian was was angry at it. Hold on. You can read a guardian's heart? Um yeah. There's a side quest over here? Wait, hang on. Okay. I can go out to the side here. Alright, I'm gonna go through the I'm gonna go through the side here because I haven't actually been here. Okay, what is here? A way up? What is this? Whoa! Fatigue ward. Okay. Okay, there's also a... Okay, there's a side quest here. There's also a chest here. Holy crap! Move it or die! I love that always looks dumb though. You were not wrong. Trident. I just got a whole ass trident just now. Alright, I'm uh, uh this button. You better be ready. Was that supposed to be a joke? <gasps> she mastered the blade. Yes. Okay. I usually don't like tridents all too too much, but this actually looks pretty solid. There's an opportunity to jab both Lavis and Sage that I took it. Oh my god.
Okay, I'll keep it up with this then. You got it! Fire burn! Okay, where am I going? Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I gotta go this way for this side of quest. Oh my god. Hey, it's you again. Ah, I'm so busy! I'm so busy I can't even notice what's going on around me! You're not fooling anybody. Why bother? I was hoping to not have to deal with you guys. Whenever I run into you, I always lose so much money. Because Velvet always forces unreasonable demands on you? Oh, Miss Exorcist! Your concern warms my little turtle's heart. I'm not forcing anything. <laughs> I just think he's trying to take advantage of us by fixing his prices well above market rate. Price fixing? As in deliberately marking up items so as to take advantage of the less fortunate? I was under the impression that the Abbey strictly forbade such unscrupulous business tactics. Ah! Perish the thought, Miz. Oh my god. Our accounting is always above board. 25 hours a day, 8 days a week. Oh my god. No matter god. when's and no matter where's, you can get whatever you need for the same fair price. That's good to hear. Eleanor, give the nice turtles that smile he so desires. I'm sure running a business is hard work. Hang in there. M much obliged. Lol. All right. What'd you got for me? Shell Shredder. That's fine. I only have one of these? How about another one then? Oh wow, this is actually kind of strong. Do this. Uh... What the hell? Oh, that's what it's... Okay, so that's a lot of focus for this. Post and reduce by 60%, HP absorb, HP absorb arch, reduce effect of burn. Uh... Oh, I might do that one. Yeah, I'll do this one. Yeah. 
And I think we're good. I'll sell off all of, a whole bunch of other stuff later on. Chest? Stream chain, okay. All right, where am I going? B3. Oh, I am going the right way. Okay, cool. Time to dish out spankings. Come here. Let's do our best. Dark is spell absorber. Ready to die? Oh, that's gonna hit one of them. Perfect mayhem. This is the Reaper Tower. They were nothing. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> oh my god all sorts of things popped out yep it's a whimsical wonderland over here wow dude i am so glad i freaking learned how to play magi loop because her counter against spells is so broken <laughs> oh my god Okay, cool. So you've mastered this. Do you need anything else to be mastered? Oh, yes. All right, you can have a spiked shoes. I'll give you this one, just cause. All right, she's still, okay. She's still trying to master this. All right, I'm gonna get myself uh, some more water here, and then I'm also probably getting myself a snack on top of this. So I'll be back momentarily, guys.
I have Returned, I have Agua, and I also have Cheez-Its. Alright, I need to go north and west. From the way you were talking, it seemed like you had an idea of who was behind the riot. What happened here? I think someone in your position would know. There were reports of a large riot, but I was caught up in chasing you, so I heard little else. It was a small affair, really. Velvet Rokuro and I were being held on this island. Velvet instigated the other prisoners to riot so that we could escape. She used the prisoners? Yeah. You'd expect different from me? <sighs> How did it end? We didn't stay to see, but the prisoners were losing badly. At least, that's what it looked like. But if that was the case, then where did all the exorcists go? That's a good question. I know Oscar left to report the incident, but the other guards should have remained at their posts. Well, they didn't flee. We have to assume they were all killed. By this headless knight, perhaps? Or transformed. Well, no sense losing our heads, I suppose. But it looks like we're in for a heck of a fight. All we have to do is mop up anyone who's left. Yo, this place gives me sake. This recipe looks real tasty. Wyvern tendon stew. A quintessential stew, carefully simmered until even the toughest meat melts in your mouth. All right, now it's up to you. Scout ship. What was it called? Venomization, right? The dark ritual of making demons feed on each other to birth stronger ones. Aizen, how many demons does the ritual require? It's more a matter of quality than quantity. Stronger demons mean more powerful malevolence. The ritual mixes the victor's malevolence with that of the devoured, creating a terrible, bloodthirsty monster. You see, the newfound power comes at a great cost. With it, the victor's last vestiges of self-control are stripped away. Mm. So it's something even more than a monster. A seething ball of pure power and malevolence. Roguro, don't tell me you're considering it for yourself. Of course I am. I'll consider anything that could make me stronger. You cannot be serious! What's there to be so surprised about? Well, look at Velvet. She's already eaten countless demons. You're ridiculous! He's right. If it helps me find my vengeance, I don't care. Velvet? Wait, are you really going to do it? Relax, it's not gonna happen. Becoming a monster wouldn't bother me. But when I defeat my rival, I have to be myself for it to mean anything. It's the same for Velvet. It is? Besides, if I kill a previous victor of the ritual, I'll have proved myself strong enough not to need the extra power. You're ridiculous. That's fair enough. It's like how a warrior went into Pandemonium one normal and beat and solo the shit out of it. Everyone ready to play? Okay, cool. He mastered the waistcoat. 
Okay, so he just needs the colorful waistcoat now. Yep. Yep. Mm. Did I go the wrong way? There's apparently a chest somewhere here. I missed a chest here. Of course, there'd be a freaking expensive cat's box in here. Time to dish out spankings. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Who wants the next? They were nothing. All right, I guess I'll check to the north then. Unless the supposed unopened chest is a cat's box that I that I freaking found. Oh no, there's one here. Oh my god, that's gold. Excuse me, what? Cum Cumbros daggers? Hi, freaking. All right. Okay, I am in the right area. I just need to go this way. Don't waste my time. Don't 
Here we go, this is where I needed to go. was a big bitch. All right. Let's see what happens. The headless knight. He must be the product of the venomization. Well, he definitely looks vicious enough. <laughs> Not as vicious as our velvet though. Resistant to fire, weak to normal in water. Okay. Where's his voice Your even coming from? I don't know. Look inside. There we go. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah. I feel something again. More malevolence? No, another Earth Pulse point. It must be on this island. I sense it too. It's very close. Directly underneath us, I would guess. Because that's where Velvet was being held. Let's go, she mastered it. What is this place? Welcome to the most secure cell in the entire complex. The darkest hole in Titania. Feel anything, Lafayette? Yeah, I think this is the Earth Pulse Point. If this cell is where the Earth Pulse Point is, then does that mean it housed Etherian? That would be her. Yeah, and a real hungry one at that. Every day, they would toss demons into its cell. It would devour its fill, then wipe the blood from its lips. Never once realizing it was delivering to Enominot the malevolence of hundreds of demons and prisoners. And then one day, there appeared before it a female Moloch who shattered the barrier and freed the Therian from its cage. But the Therian knew no mercy, and it devoured its liberator. And it was then. It was then I obtained the power. The power to avenge my brother. Velvet, you're a Therian? Yep. This prison island was a feeding ground for the Therian, harnessing the malevolence created by the prisoners within. But because Velvet escaped, the malevolence went out of control. That actually would make a lot of sense. Wow, the same darn thing that happened back in Kamoana's village. Lord Artorius would never have done such a thing. No, what's so unbelievable? 
that he used his wife's brother as a human sacrifice. That he imprisoned his wife's sister because that's what your damned holy shepherd did! All to get his hands on Inominat's power! I'm sure he... he had a reason for... A reason?! To spare the world of its pain? Don't give me that! Who will spare my brother's pain? Who will soothe my brother's despair? He murdered my little brother, Luffy! And you'll stand there and tell me it was for the greater good?! Wow. Oh, shit. Okay, hi, Velvet. <laughs> I felt that one. Oh, my God. At any rate, that's one less Therian for us to track down. Velvet. Oh, that's not good. Come on, Anna. What? Did Velvet yell at you so hard you're starting to hear voices now? I have a feeling something's wrong. Kamoana could be in danger. But we already beat the Headless Knight. I still can't shake this feeling. Please, let's go back and check on them. Mm. And it's like you're half right, BB. The whole reason why we're here, like, apart from to deliver the prince here, um, uh, we also want to keep the Therians here. Because, um, uh, if we kill a Therian, another one can just be made in its place. However, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, what's, what can I compare it to? Hmm. Fuck, what was the name of the anime? Oh, uh, not, uh, Ruby. You've watched Ruby, so, right, Phoebe? Velvet is a Therian, is she? I knew there was something off about her. But it's what she cried out that's really on my mind. Luffy said, is Velvet truly Lord Artorias' younger sister? She never told me. If it were true, I suppose it would explain her knowledge of Lord Artorias' training. If you're so curious, why not ask her yourself? Hey, Velvet, what's your connection to Artorias? Uh, Rokuro, have some tact! I heard... That was weird. You're back. Thank you. Um, god damn it. I'm gonna have to freaking mend that. Uh, re? Slight Reese, anyway. Uh, yeah, I have a friend of mine that can at least help me out with that. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't, since I don't do video editing, uh, editing, also thank you for the welcome back. Uh, since I don't do video editing, um, uh, I, I don't, like, mend my own, like, videos should, uh, in the event that stream should die for whatever reason, and I need, and, like, I'm still in, like, the middle of the, of the schedule or whatnot. So, yeah, let me know if you, uh, thank you for letting me know, by the way, VB. Um, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, all of a sudden I lost all my frames for no reason, and and I still had internet and everything like that. So it's it was like I don't know, I don't know if just it was like an uh like a hiccup, like an internet like hiccup that I just all of a sudden just got a lag spike and it just died for no reason or I don't know. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so we're back. Um, as I was gonna say though, um, uh, VB. To answer the whole, like, why I was bringing up Ruby, though, the Therians are like the Maidens in Ruby. How in Ruby, the Maidens are always four at any given time. Should one die, another one arises in its place. It's the same thing when it comes to the Therians here. Except the Abbey, aka the big bad of all this, has somehow found, found a way to manipulate themselves, uh... 
and through their own means, so who becomes the next Therian. So that's why we're here at the prison to ensure that uh, there's so to ensure that we have a space uh, we can call base, so that way we can um, uh, store all the Therians, if you would, uh, without needing to uh, resort to like killing them. Because if we kill them, then they can, because th then the Abbey can find out, and they'll make another one. Or if it, if the Abbey doesn't make one, then somebody will be, uh, somebody else will be just made a uh, theory in at random. Ah, yes. So that's how this is all gonna work. So it turns out that Velvet is a Therian who consumes malevolence. And too much malevolence is what changes people into demons. Strong enough malevolence can persist after the person who created it dies, turning their corpse or spirit into a raging monster. That's how undead and phantom demons come about. Then the hmm. demons Velvet killed turned back into humans because she devoured their malevolence. Yeah, and consequently, they avoided becoming undead or anything like that. So she saved them. Well, I mean, a corpse is a corpse, of course, of course. Do you think she could devour only the malevolence and turn a living demon human again? Unfortunately, that's impossible due to malevolence's self-reinforcing nature. When Therians are connected to Enominot through an Earth Pulse point, they seem to be able to absorb small concentrations of malevolence from the surrounding area and inhibit the creation of new demons. But any human who builds up enough malevolence to turn into a demon will keep producing malevolence as long as they live. That's right. To devour any malevolence, I need to cut it off at the source. That's how my powers work. Velvet, I'm sorry. I don't mind it. Actually, I find it convenient. This way, I'll never forget my hatred for Artorius. Plus, as long as you stay away from an Earth Pulse point, you get to keep the power of any malevolence you consume. Fuel for my hatred, yes. Uh. Fair enough. Very cool. But yeah, I knew, I was like, I know I've heard this freaking, like, the same, like, story thing uh, somewhere else before, and sure enough, it's been freaking Ruby. This must be the true survivor of the venomization process. Oh, I get it! The dying exorcist lady wasn't saying Headless Knight is back. She was going for Headless Knight on horseback. Mm. Whatever the case, we'll fight whoever we have to to claim this That island. would make sense, too. Weakness is no... I can actually... I can vibe with that. Now I can't help but wonder how the horse is named. Get close and look if you're that curious. You wronged me! Here's your justice! Fighting order! Pummel! Windlance! I'll Die! Oh my god, why? No escape! Tremble! Blast them! Red got you! Pummel! Red got you! 
God damn it. Why does this thing hit so hard? What? Oh my god. Awesome. We're good. That's venomization, all right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I beg your pardon. <clears throat> Not you. <laughs> what? Oh! From the villa? No, look, it's absorbing the malevolence. It's Ethereum. Actually, that hawk is Griffin, my one and only friend. <laughs> A damned Therian. So huh. that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. But your highness, why do you have a Therian? It's like I said. Griffin has been my dear friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. Oh! So what are you plotting? I have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. The crown prince and future king, he's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution, one designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you're doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? I mean, I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say my itch, over my studies in service of the state. Uh. Damn! Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, he turned out to be responsive to Inominat's power. I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepherd Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, if there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. I tricked the exorcist on guard and disabled the barrier. But then Griffin attacked the exorcist and killed him. Oh, wow. That's why you said you could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead exorcist. But with Ethereum removed, malevolence will engulf the capital. I knew full well what I was doing. And yet, I couldn't watch my friend's life be stripped away. Your Highness. 
He chose a single bird over the world. Why do you think that birds fly? Uh, that's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. Birds fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. That's what I think. Rip penguins and ostriches. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, and chickens, I'll kill you. That should work. This way, we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. Understood. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. And chickens are just Walmart birds, I guess. <laughs> Walmart birds. <laughs> oh my god. Heaven's Wrath. Ooh. All of this mastery. Armory Aerosite. Grants plus one maximum BG to characters wearing equipment that has been enhanced a combined total of 15 or more times. Yo fucking pog. That's a full set of, like, plus three to everything. Damn. Hey, Velvet. Do you know where Eleanor is? Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah. But then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? Lol? Uh... All right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? The sheep has returned. Holy shit! Why are there so many side quests? All right, what did I just learn? Heaven's Wrath. A rapid combination of kicks from multiple angles. Right, that should work out just fine, I think. Cool. Wait, an insect with an unusually strong life force can even, uh, even after being stabbed, it can uh, continue moving for a long time. So it is often used as bait in fishing. Is there fishing in this game? What? I didn't know that there was fishing in this game. I'm not going to lie. Huh. A most interesting interpretation. What do you make of this part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney, Kyle, then it'd mean midriff. Which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read, Porn'ges are nummy. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? 
Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Oh, right, I forgot to expedition. Hey, that's a lot of socket, damn. Hey, Rokuro, have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Get drunk. <laughs> Just try not My to God. go overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean, we've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened Helavis, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to tag along. No. I still haven't repaid my debt to you. <laughs> you say that, but you really nah. just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa. To me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. I forgot she was 19. At least she is 19. Nah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I have to go to the watchtower. Okay. Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to hi, hurl, hi, Raiders! Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm, no matter how choppy the seas. Where angels fear to tread, as they say. <laughs> Probably some of that as well. Yo, what's up, Harlots? What the raid? Everybody come to what the raid that doesn't know who I am. Hello, I'm Sephiroth7272. I'm a very shepherd of my life because this is real Final Fantasy content. Tonight, I'm here with some Tales of Berseria. We literally just got through a whole freaking, like, boss fight and shit, so... Now it's just a bit of like a cutscene central kind of thing. But yeah. For those of you that don't know who Harley Quinn Vampire is, she's an absolute one for human being. Does plenty of writing on it herself. She's been currently, uh, uh, not, well, I guess currently and recently been going through the Final Fantasy VII series. Recently finished off, uh, FF7 Crisis Core as well as the original. And is, uh, has been starting her journey on Dirge of Cerberus. So, yeah. She also occasionally plays uh, Overwatch as well. She's also on top of the huge fan of Kingdom Hearts series. I highly, highly recommend checking her out. Show and share nothing but love. How is your stream, Harles? What's up, dude? How are you finding dirt so far? Also, Astiliana. Uh, Astiliana. Yeah, okay, I said that correctly. Astiliana, welcome in, my dude. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. What's up, what's up? Welcome in, welcome in. Hey, any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. You look pretty distinctly unoccupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... Oh my God. What? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. <laughs> I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, yep, she is definitely my favorite character in this game. I'm not gonna lie. 
Hey, I'm glad I said it right though. Yeah, how are you doing though, dude? Welcome in. I, I literally, I took a name at your name, uh, or took a name at your name. I took a look at your name, and I was like, huh. I think I said it correctly, and then I realized I was like, wait, are those eyes placed where I think they are? Are my eyes deceiving me? I was just like, I so I had to like uh, read it back, take it like a bit of a double take and whatnot, so that way I could make sure that my dumbass isn't didn't actually like mispronounce it or whatever. So yeah, I guess I did good. Uh, where did Hitsuba go? Uh, North Watchtower. Okay, so Outer Path, North Watchtower. Okay, I see it. Sadly, another short stream today. PC is still overheating. So I guess I won't be able to play stream anymore. Um, uh, I don't know until the heat sink gets delivered. I pushed it a little longer than I probably should have. I just went into Kate Sith, though. That's where I stopped today. Gotcha. Yeah, what do you think of um uh, of Dirge Server so far, though? I know, like, I know for a lot of people, it's definitely off-putting because it's a freaking like left turn when it comes to um. Uh, What's it called? It's definitely like a left turn when it comes to like the uh, the like the game's mechanics and stuff. But I actually had a lot of fun with it. I personally had like a lot of fun with it. Like I, I very very much enjoyed Dirge of Cerberus, and I thought that the lore that they introduced was pretty good. So far, the camera movement sucks, though. I can agree with you with that. Yeah, camera movement isn't great. It really isn't great. There at, you least, are, Eleanor. at least it does have auto lock on it. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. Ah, uh, indeed. She may be a Therian now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malakim who I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. <clears throat> I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was nor what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The coward's path is not that of an exorcist. They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. You can only move the analog to the right? Why? I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamalana I'm alright. Is the Don't controller fucked long. or the sea breeze can get cold? <sighs> Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamalana and Lafis that would worry. That's all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will say that piano theme kind of reminded me of one of the Kingdom Hearts themes, I'm not going to lie. I don't know, maybe a glitch with a copy of the I have game. I don't really remind me later. Uh, maybe. I mean, if the controller's been working fine, then it might not be the There's controller. There's something I've been hiding until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. Yeah, we know. I was to watch over the Malik Lafiset and bring him to Abbey headquarters. So vital was the mission. I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were going to take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Lafiset. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However, 
I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorias? No. I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorias. That the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision. So... I will help you protect the Therians. Until I discover the answer I seek. Eleanor. The controller works for other games. Okay, then yeah, it's probably the uh, the game maybe. To be of. And to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. Uh, Don't equate us. Secret to act in uh, opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. I'm sorry. That has to be the most glorious name I have ever seen for a for a handle on anything. Sacred Emu of Light. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome and hope you're doing well. <laughs> What's up, dude? You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah. After all, she's my vessel. <laughs> yes, yes. So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. Well, that's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual leads? What if we had Eleanor swipe some intel on them from the Abbey? That could work. So I you pronounced it right. Honestly, I looked at it. I thought it was a uh, sacred mu of like, because I didn't see the E between uh, the D and the M. So I thought it was sacred mu, like the, like, a, like what are the uh, Greek symbols? And I was like, I reread it. I was like, that says emu. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking genius. I love it. I hope you're doing well though, dude. I don't know. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor, so who would look anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious, but accurate. <laughs> you know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try out. All right, let's go. Alrighty then. You're pretty good, Kate. That's awesome. And did you come in with the raid, or did you just happen to find me out of curiosity? Laffy said, I must offer you an apology. What for? For spying. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... you did? Call it a hunch. Besides... Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. <laughs> it's pathetic. That's basically why she, she called okay. your dumbass out, though. Well, I think it says something oh, you can with really cool. You. Huh? Someone who can't lie well seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Laffy said. <laughs> He's not here. wrong. I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? Uh, Dinnerman42, take the picture for following. Very, very much appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Oh my fucking god, Bianfu. We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. <laughs> Madam Eleanor is a mealy head! She's a what? Laffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. Tales games are always awesome, though. Uh, this is my first Tales game, actually, hilariously enough. This is my first ever. T also, I just realized a freaking <laughs> Deaderman42, 969th follower. Nice. Anyways, 
Um, <laughs> I encourage you to playing, uh, with reminds me of Bayonetta a little bit. Her? Velvet does? I mean, I guess I can see it. Oh, no. I think I'm finally getting the hang of cooking without testing the taste. You know, I've always thought you were a really good cook, Velvet. It's not so hard. All you have to do is follow the recipe. After my sister died, I always did the cooking. The most important thing is adding just the right amount of salt and the final adjustments of flavor. Oh, and once you're just about done, you have to make a wish that it turns out tasty. You wish for flavor? Yeah, so long as you do that, anything will turn out tasting good. Selica taught me that. It sounds like your sister was quite the master chef. Oh, I don't know about that, but now I'll never be her match. I've lost my taste, sure. But I've also forgotten what it even feels like to taste something delicious. That's depressing. What I make isn't really food. It's merely sustenance. I don't think that's true, Velvet. Nom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he eating? This is great. You're a fine chef, Velvet. What did she... Can we have context to what he was eating just now? Said. She always <laughs> wished for our food to taste good. Because she wanted to see us happy when we ate it. Oh? He's eating <laughs> a hot dog. Oh, I like thanks. A <laughs> too. I, I don't think you do. It's a good thing. You should eat a lot too, so you can grow up big God and strong. Fucking damn it, BB. <laughs> Jacketless outfit for velvet, Nani. I feel conflicted with this. Fucking <laughs> BB. <laughs> and just uh, her look and her voice reminds me of her. Okay, that makes sense, Charles. And yeah, gentlemen, yeah, welcome and have a doing well, dude. Fucking, I'm conflicted with this. Cause she looks awesome. But at the same time, I don't know, it just feels like she this is just like a whole nightgown without the jacket. Like, with the jacket, she looks like a complete badass. Without the jacket, she just it looks like she just it's just a nightgown and nothing more than that. She looks really good though, don't get me wrong. She does look really good. This just looks like if it was just like a nightgown, though. I don't know. The exploration of the outer seas is going super well. Yeah. It's all thanks to you guys chipping in. Oh, we haven't done all that much. Well, don't rest on your laurels just yet. Worse things happen at sea, you know. The scouting ship could always get eaten by some giant tentacled horror from the deeps. Oh my fucking Danger is a part of the job. Besides, I freeze. Of course, she would bring up tentacles. Of course, she would be the one to bring up tentacles in this what's game. Still hidden out there for us to find. Terror Island, for one thing. According to ancient legends, it's an island that moves across the outer seas like a ship. Really? I've never heard of an island like that. Nobody knows if it's real or not, which is exactly why we have to try and find it ourselves. Awesome! I exactly, can't wait to get to the bottom of this. Don't get too excited just yet, kiddo. It's good to have enthusiasm and all, but I bet this place is called Terror Island for a reason. I'm not too worried. Like Aizen said, challenging the unknown is what Ifrid's pirates do, no matter what the risk. <sighs> Looks like you've caught the bug too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, what the? Wait, why is my party like this? Hello? Oh, can't a witch get a little downtime? If I'm in this, I'm in this 100%. Why, certainly. 
Hey, Bienfu, I have a question for you. I know Magilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? The obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising. She is indeed a bona fide dark witch. I should know. I saw one night just how scary she could be. It's enough to keep you awake at night. It was near the crater of a volcano. Above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, a blood-red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Magilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What the fuck? What was fuck? she making? Strawberry jam. What? What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor. Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't think so, but that contrast in sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate it. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually... Strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? Well, I had no idea! Wow, I really liked it too! I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix-up! Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I liked that she made one time! Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish too! I think I see what's going on here. What does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking talent behind such plain tasting food with no one the wiser. What the fuck? What did we just, what? Hashtag Kento Bienfu. I can get behind that. He's an idiot. Whole ass idiot. I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I just realized something. If the man sprays himself with that perfume in the morning... Can you do simply just call it morning wood? I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees. Conifers that grow in a <laughs> Don't fucking land. boo me! I that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh, can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? You know, I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. Oh, God. A few hundred years ago, really? we're getting people into this? They would die if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. What the I fuck? I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? That's not where well, I expected that to go. At the time, a deadly plague was running rampant, and people oh. thought that it could be transmitted through bath water. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep, 
As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. With fragrant woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. Wow. So, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? Why do I have so many of these? Holy shit. That's a This is a this is what the fourth skit I have right here. This island is so amazing. It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground. It's such a perfect hideout. Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here. Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before. Don't be such a drag, Loppy Set. It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. <laughs> I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? Yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games here, either. In order to maximize the success of our future battles, we need to maintain and improve this base going forward. This place seems sturdy as it is. Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing, exactly? That's a good well, question. I think we need to start with smokescreen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helavis was really scary. We have Molochim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess that's true. What we really need are some secret underground tunnels. Secret if tunnels! Get too hairy here, Secret we'll tunnel. Escape route. We can put in hidden doors and even some fake ones to trick the enemy too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island, you know, surrounded by water. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited island nearby. But there are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. Oh my fucking are god. Are you listening to what you're saying? <laughs> it sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? This is a great opportunity we have here. You guys just don't get it. It's okay. I get where you're coming from. But they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. Okay, cool. That was all of them. Oh my god, there's another side quest there. Jesus tits. When was the last time I saved? 30 fucking minutes ago. Welp. I have no regrets. Not even a single way. Hello. I'm going to make an F N <laughs> I'm going to make NFT Island. You guys just don't get it. I lost a bet to a young man, and he dared me to prove my courage by sailing out to a class four island. 
Now, I can handle myself, but man, it ain't fun and games there. I nearly got killed by demons. By you demons. actually stepped foot on a Class 4 island? Not even. I was still approaching it by ship when this stuff that looked like spider silk started spreading round. These bug-looking demons were using the stuff to try and climb aboard my ship. Damnation! The crew cut those threads as fast as anything, and we got the hell out of there. The whole thing left me bawling. Well, I'm glad to see you made it out safely. I'd suggest not going near there again. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't planning on it. I had enough of that place to last me a lifetime. Cool. I can go to a new zone. People. Scout ship. Anyways. I still need the two other special things here. Um, how bird already have? Silver scrap, boil. Okay, yeah, I got nothing else here. Oh. All right, let's see. Wait, where's my next MSQ? Hello? Oh, I gotta go back into the, really? All right. Okay, I believe it should all be peaceful at the very least. I don't think I'll be running into any, like, monsters on the way there. Thankfully enough, at least. So I believe we go here, go over here, up here. Let's see. Take a right at Albuquerque, and then I go ahead and keep on going. You know, I I will say I am wondering: Is Artorias gonna be the final boss, or is it gonna be Inominat? 
Or hell, is it gonna be looking like a Master Dragon Knight kind of thing where he's gonna ride in Omen or fuse with it? Is he gonna become like Xenos? I think it's going to be Bienfu. Oh my god, I would lose it if that were actually the case. We're here. What now? Well, so I've been thinking about Earth Pulse points. They're where the flow of the Earth Pulse, the Earth's natural forces, are concentrated. Right. And Inominat is using those points to acquire malevolence and reawaken himself. You seem to have a knack for sensing them out. Once you're close enough, you can even pinpoint their location. Except, I don't have to be close at all. When we came here yesterday, I felt another place. A place just like this. Are you saying you can use this Earth Pulse point as a conduit to find the others? I think so. I don't know how far it works. That's and cool, I can't actually. Say the Therian will be on the other end. Still, it'll give us something real to go on. Please, give it a try. Okay. Anything? Yes, I felt it. There are dozens of Earth Pulse points scattered around, but I sensed a few big ones that stood out. So you can even detect their size? Yeah, That's at cool. least I think I can. This island is one of the big ones. There are two more like it somewhere to the east and the southeast. But I think those are the Warg Forest and the Temple of Palamedes. Warg. Still. That suggests we're more likely to find Therians at the larger Earth Pulse points. We've got three Therians to go. Anything that helps us narrow down our choices is a boon. Yeah, you've done great work today, Lafayette. That's for sure. Thank goodness you're here. You're a marvel. One of the wonders of the world, kiddo. It's not that big of a deal, really. Hmm. Then let's go Therian hunting. We have an honest-to-goodness lead. Or dishonest-to-badness in our case. <laughs> Damn. Broke again. Still not good enough. You think it's your swords that are weak? You don't think maybe your body's just stupid tough? No. If it can't cut me, it's just not good enough. I need stronger materials to make a better sword. I'd love to try Orichalcum, but getting that stuff is next to impossible. Really? All right. Orichalcum, that's the strongest metal in the world, right? A rare metal that's only been found in ancient ruins and seldom at that. I've seen fragments of the metal myself but I've never even heard of a piece large enough to forge into a weapon. I have. I heard a rumor that a block of Orichalcum was discovered in an ancient ruin some 200 years ago. Unfortunately, the boat carrying it sank in a storm. From the depths of the earth to the depths of the sea. A sunken ship, treasure at the bottom of the sea. <sighs> that would stir any sailor's heart. If we knew where to find it, could it be salvaged? The ship's crew drowned, so nobody knows where she sank. Besides, it's a centuries-old rumor. Who's to say it's even true? Right. <laughs> no sense in wishing for what can't be gotten. I'm sure there's other material you can use. <laughs> even Dial makes a good point sometimes. Hey, what do you mean, even Dial? <laughs> even Dial's getting angry. Oh my god. Saying it god. like that's just weird, Kamoana. <laughs> even Kamoana's getting weird. <laughs> All right, so our target is an Earth Pulse point about as big as the one here. 
Let's start with the closest one and go from there. Which way is it? The closest one is to the west. Got it. Least. Lead the way, right, Lafayette. My pleasure. You know, I wonder if that's actually... I wonder if you can actually get the block of of uh, orich orichalcum orich orichalcum from one of these. I feel like probably you can. I definitely do love how Ori Calcum is definitely almost always seen as, like, one of the hardest substances in, like, fantasy games and such. Uh, I understand why the Abbey turned this island into a prison. The waters here are filled with rapid sea currents. Make a single wrong turn of the rudder, and your ship will be capsized just like that. Not to mention the fog and all the storms that pass by. It must be nearly impossible to escape. Aye. To get on and off this island, you'd need a vast store of nautical knowledge and a skilled hand. Thanks to your curse, Eisen, we've gotten good enough to handle rough seas like this. The storm that kicked up when we made our escape was huge, and all we had were three novice sailors. Thinking back on it, we had some seriously good luck. That's fair enough. The first mate told me we're going to be looking for an Earth Pulse thingy, right? The ship's ready to leave whenever. Do you want to depart now? Yeah, let's go ahead. Did we just go off the map? It's here! This is the Earth Pulse point! Nothing but open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse point down below? Oh. Uh, Most of this world is covered by ocean. So of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse points in the deep sea. But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time containing Aetherian underwater, right? Looks like this one's a bust then. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug Therian. You don't think there could be fish as well? You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. You do? This. What? what? Don't give me that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. It's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. I'm... I'm sure it's a lovely fish. I don't think I've even heard my friend who is a fishing main in F14 go on th in that amount of detail about a rod. Fishing pole, but fishing? Are you sure? This is a Therian we're talking about. All the more reason. Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay. All right, if no one else will, I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Aw, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Besides, I'm hungry. Even if all we catch is fish, at least we'll have dinner. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like this? <laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. I used to go fishing with my brother sometimes. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. Oh my I didn't fucking know god. You could fish, Eleanor. Yeah, when I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred tree at loaches over the years. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lapisette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal it Oh my it away. god, Maggie. <laughs> Lapisette. 
Let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Hey. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Okay. <laughs> She's getting I'll cucked so hard shot. right now. Luffy! Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Oh. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah. That's it. Okay, then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm-mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? <laughs> oh, oh my Felton, god. Uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh... All right. <sighs> That's what... Okay, there's so many new windows that could be set in there. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Fucking BN food's just all. Alright, sure. Can I have my rod back now? <laughs> hey, don't rush me here. If I don't get this squared away now, it'll just cause you trouble later. I appreciate the effort and all, but do you seriously think we'll actually catch a fairy in here? Beats me, but the first mate hasn't met a fish he can't catch. Huh. Aizen's really that accomplished of a fisherman? Leave it all to me. I'll whip you up a fearsome fishing tackle the captain taught me himself. This really takes me back. One summer, Magalu used me as bait to catch a whale. So yeah, that was about as fun as it sounds. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Fucking oh my god, dude. If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. Speaking of fish, I had sushi on Friday. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I was like, what the fuck day is it? Yeah, I had sushi yesterday for lunch. Hey, Velvet! I spotted a giant oarfish! Try to catch it! I'm feeling peckish. <laughs> Old man Tenny sounds like he was a real goofball. Definitely. You haven't had sushi in ages, really? the weirdest things while we'd be fishing, just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. Silly stuff like... Papero popero pippity poppity poo <laughs> Yeah, that's silly, alright. Those two look like they're having fun. She's also jealous. But yeah, dude, VB, we should actually not think about it. You usually have weekends off, right? Saturdays, yeah? Yeah, I don't think I have actually any plans on this upcoming Saturday, on the 12th, if you want to go hang out in Little Tokyo. <laughs> Teddy is funny. It's even funnier coming from you, Eleanor. Oh my god, I mean, he's not... <laughs> I don't mind. Cool. Yeah, we can totally, um, um... 
I'm trying to think. I'm like, where's this? Uh, where's this sushi place in Little Tokyo? It's been a f fucking ever since I've been there. I I like remember where ramen place. Actually, never mind. I think there's a sushi joint around like around the same place where I'm thinking right now. Yeah, for sure, I know there's a sushi place, but yeah, we could totally hang out and just uh, spot some sushi and whatnot. There's Colet... There's Colet Colet Collections, and the butcher meets meat at the meat. Tinny is a veritable treasure trove of wordplay. Oh my god, dude. I wouldn't be able to think of all that, honestly. Hey, Eisen, how about a competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. Don't be ridiculous. Fishing is a solitary battle. It's about meditation and self-control. Ooh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. <laughs> there's just something about good equipment that gets the blood pumping. <laughs> yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. I get too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Wouldn't a competition be better for getting that blood of yours pumping? Fine, you're on. Oh but we both know already God. where this is gonna end. <laughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. Doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian hunt turn into a contest? Hey, Velvet! I've got your rod all set up for you! <laughs> oh! Whoever the fuck translated this knew what the fuck they were doing. They knew this was gonna- that was gonna be a whole ass innuendo fest in one fell swoop. Oh my god, man. <laughs> the number of innuendos that came out of that one... Alright, sure. Why not? Uh, it's gonna be Wait, when the fuck's your birthday, VB? Let's make this interesting. Whoever loses will be the winner's servant for the day. <laughs> With the Fuji by... Uh... Which, with Fujibayashi's rod in my hands, my chances of defeat are zero. Zilch! You're going to regret this bet. God, dude. It's on the 19th? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I, mean, I said on the 12th, but I mean, if you're going to go treat yourself to some sushi too on the 19th, uh, that's fine. Because it is the 6th right now. Well, technically it's six. It's Sunday morning right now. Yeah, it's still don't. That's uh, awesome. Leave it all to me. I'll be up a fearsome fishing tackle with the captain top me himself. Uh, excuse me. This thing could even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. Now get out there and fish up a big one. A Therian, you mean. Oh, well, well early birthday sushi, so gotcha. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. Oh, something's pulling the line. Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength, it's about timing. Oh, okay, got it. Here it comes. You ready? <laughs> Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. Oh if my it's God. a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! <laughs> That's actually a cute picture. What the well, fuck? What do you know? Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. Oh. It looks like it fit you, though, Lafayette. said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? I got horns. No fucking way. See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Lafayette. said. No fucking way he just put that on. <laughs> you, you really think so? Yeah. Brings I hate everything charm, about kiddo. that. Come on. 
Back to Therian fishing. Oh. Hey, you don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Uh, not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? <laughs> Spoken like a true heartless pirate. Oh, hey, I've got something. <sighs> Whoa, oh, looks like I'm next. My God. <laughs> That's a fucking mustache. Not a single decent catch. I think it's decent. Huh? All right, I'm not gonna lie, I was not prepared for that. <laughs> you don't take half measures, do you, kid? Hmm? <laughs> Laffy, why? Fuck it. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Take that off. <laughs> Stop it! What do you know about me anyway? I, I know that looks silly on you. All you know is your Luffy. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, Velvet, something's pulling on your rod. Huh? Oh. It's a big one. Give it everything you've got. I know what I'm doing. What the it's, fuck? It's a big one, all right, but... A pot. Yay. But what's a pot doing out here? There's something inside it. <laughs> Why? Uh, uh, huh? Why are there- alright. I have questions. Why are there four of these, let alone one of these, and why do they have to have tentacles? Never mind, the last one actually had just itself, considering this is an anime. Alright, carry on. I wish they'd stop making those noises. Watch out! Their arms to the squeak! Shouting, let's squeeze them away! Must you? Better watch your stomach! We won, right? Right? Phew, that was scary. Be more careful before you approach a suspicious object. You think Luffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this! Hold on. There's something else inside. Excuse me. Bitch, what? How? How? I, I just want to know fucking how. That was a whole ass human.
that crawled the way out of that, let alone three of them. Now we gotta fight the shambling dead? A sample pot! For a bunch of dead guys, they're awfully... Uh, fleshy. It's a Pokeball, all apparently. Weekly. An octopus army, a horde of undead. What the hell is this pot? Magnificent. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. What? Huh? Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Listen and behold. This is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Clauden's reign. It was a legendary once in a millennium masterpiece, but it was lost in the second warring states period 200 years ago. Assertive yet not ostentatious. The piece draws you in with its stately curves and the subtle Excuse shimmer of its me, colors, sir, what the fuck this which is belie what is it? Savagery. <sighs> Two lectures in one day. <sighs> yeah. He's talking gibberish, but that's men in general, I suppose. The lost glazing technique of the Orosaurin is so vibrant, it looks like it could start moving at any moment. Huh? What the fuck is that? Oh, oh and start moving it did. Look out! The pot's a demon! Weak to earth. Good to know. Very weak to hidden arts. Even better to know. Whatever you guys do, ma make sure you don't smash it! So, can... I slash it? That's even worse! Stop arguing and fight already! That did so much damage, actually.
God damn, dude. That was nuts. Howling Dragon Cleansing Lance. Empress Claw. Ooh. Oh, my God. oh the Masteries. That's gold. Cool. Journeyman Smith's Acerite. Increases the maximum level to which equipment may be enhanced to six. Ooh. That actually makes things much, much better, honestly. It's finally decided to behave itself. Wait, Velvet! Don't eat it! It's a pot. I'm not gonna eat it. <sighs> I guess there weren't any Therians to be found here after all. Unless the pot was a Therian? Yeah, if there'd have been any, you'd think Ol' Eisen's Reaper curse would have drawn him out. Oh, so that's why all we caught today were weird, useless things. That actually makes right. a lot of fucking sense. I forgot about the curse. So all this was Eisen's fault, huh? Funny how quickly you get used to it. Oh, my power didn't end up helping us out at all. Nope. Oh. But I know you're not the type to give up after a little setback. Isn't that right, Fee? Huh? Fee? Oh, okay. It's your nickname. Not a whole lot of thought put into it, but... You're you. You're Fee. Velvet. Fee. I like it. It has personality. <laughs> Thanks. So says Futaba. Of course, if you still feel like giving up. No, I'm gonna find us the next Earth Pulse point. Oh, hey. There's something else inside the pot. This golden luster, it's... That it's bitch had orichalcum in it? Alright, sure. I get it now. This must be where that ship sank all those years ago. The one Kurogane told us about. Hell yeah! Kurogane might actually be able to make me an orichalcum sword. Nice find, Aizen. You too, Lapisette. It wasn't easy, but we didn't come away empty-handed. And just getting a chance to fish again was lots of fun. Yeah. I had a really good time, too. Even I was entertained. Especially your little costume show, kiddo. The sun's going down soon. Let's head back to Titania. Alrighty, then. Ancient water jug and ori calcum smell. Got horns, x ray glasses, and a mustache. Also, uh, we have a ta uh, takoyaki recipe and cool. Sail winged eagle feather. Ooh. An enigmatic crystal discovered in the Centurion Isles, said to balance energies between our own dimension and another. Huh. That color reminds me of the Scarlet Knight. Kind of does. Wow, it's spectacular, Velvet. Hmm? That deep, deep red. It's like a sunset reflected in the ocean. That's what you see? Huh? Did I say something funny? And no, not at all. But I hadn't noticed that's the same color of a sunset I once saw with Laffy. I guess the beauty in anything comes from what you bring of it. Or bring to it, I guess. Oh my fucking god, dude, this horns. Black should be in a tail. A musta. Oh. You know. 
I don't know why this is so fitting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna actually use it, but it, it actually like works for whatever reason. Okay, Vivi, what's up? Don't give it the moustache. <laughs> oh. I mean, I wasn't planning to. I just thought it was funny. It, it just, it honestly, it fit a little too well. That's all. That's all. That's all. I wasn't going to give it to her. do they have in common what are you up to i'm compiling everything we know about earth pulse points starting with what the ones in ward forest and polymedes have in common i'll compare those points with the ones that didn't have any therians then i'll factor in everything i currently know about the abbey's deployments once that's done i'll match all that information against what we know about the locations lafi set was able to sense when that's completed we should be able to tell which locations are more likely to house a therian you're really going all out aren't you must you sound so incredulous? If you're going to do something, then give it your all. There is no other way to live. R right. I'm counting on you then. Hey, that's respect. I'm not going to lie. This is for me and for Lofi Set. Do you even understand why that boy's trying so hard? Yeah, I do. Damn. If you understand, then you need to show that you do. I can't emphasize the importance of that enough. I meant to drop something, but it's fine. Lobby set! I spy! I spy! Uh, I can't, Kamawana. I I've got stuff to... I spy with my little eye! Something that starts with V! Vagina. No. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Uh, is it... Velvet? <laughs> uh, no fair! I'll just do it <laughs> Wait, Kamawana, I'm sorry. You don't have to cry. <laughs> Poor Fee. <laughs> oh, what? what do you mean, wow? <laughs> oh, you guys are assholes from not. Bre. Anyways. You can, you can give me a nickname if you want. Have you been practicing your dove impression, Velvet? Oh my what? god. No. Now, now. A performer in Mogilu's menagerie has to be more diligent than that. What if we're stopped at a checkpoint and the guards ask you to perform a trick? If that happens, I'll show them my trick where I devour an entire witch faster than the blink of an eye. <laughs> oh, that would be a sight indeed. But seriously, if you ever want some magic tricks up your sleeve, let me know and I'll teach you some. Just 10,000 gold each. Steady practice is the key. If you don't put in real effort, you'll never be the real McCoy. You have to be perfect. You have to perfect your art. Be a juggling or vengeance. <clears throat> okay, she's not entirely wrong about that. I'm not going to lie. But is there any other... Nope. Oh, hey, Velvet. You don't mind if I give Kudogane that orichalcum you fished up, do you? Doesn't matter to me. But do you really think he can make a weapon with that? Well, I don't know. What does the expert think? Conventionally, no, it's impossible. But when has convention ever stopped a demon? 
I won't argue that. We're dealing with the hardest metal in existence. But I'm ready to cast aside all doubt. To focus everything on forging my greatest creation. If anybody can do it, it's you. Good luck, Kurogane. Yeah, best of luck. If you can make Rokuro stronger, you'll be helping me out too. Consume the Orichalcum block. Do I... Hey, what do you say we track down another Therian? Sure. From what I can tell, the next closest Earth Pulse Point is near the center of Midgand. Midgand, huh? The capital's not far from there. I wonder how things are now that Griffin's gone, though. That's a good Only question. One way to find out. Maybe so, but Aizen's not here, you know. You're right. I haven't seen him in a while. We should probably ask Benwick where he wandered off to. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, hold on. There's a letter here. On pretty cutesy stationery, too. Let's just have a quick look-see. Okay. As the cold turns bitter and the snow piles up on the mountains, I cannot help but think of you and hope you are in good cheer. As for myself, I am the same as ever, although I recently acquired a rare item that I shall be sending your... It's rude to read other people's letters, you know. Yeah, but how else are we supposed to find out whose it is? Does it say who the sender is? Uh... Uzfamilu Wexov. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Probably someone on this island, if I had to guess. Hey! Anybody lose a letter? Do any of these folks look like the type to write a fancy letter? Point taken. It could be one of the pirates. Why don't we go to the docks and ask around? Fine, just don't forget our mission. Oh, there's a side quest. Oh, there's two side quests. Kuragane, let me ask you something. More complaining, is it? Come on, don't be like that. Every time I turn around, Velvet or one of the pirates is telling me to go make some delivery to some island. I can never get a break. Isn't that just a sign they think you're a dependable guy? Maybe, but I don't see them sending you off on errands. It's like they take one look at your face and decide to leave you alone. I don't have a face. I was gonna say, he doesn't have oh, a face. Right, sorry. The slip of the tongue. Maybe you just don't know how much work I do around here. It's more than you think. Anything to do with iron, I do it. Making tools, repairing things. What do you take me for? Some kind of cheeky freeloader? I don't even have cheeks. <laughs> You're too funny. Is that Vegeta's voice actor? Is that Chris Savage? Anyways, I uh, could have gonna can't make the weapon because he's uh missing a headpiece. That's a lot of CP control and crossing ship stats he's missing out on. Shake my head, oh my god. But doesn't it ever annoy you to have all these kids <laughs> giving you orders? I've spent my entire life thinking of nothing but forging swords. It's been centuries since I've interacted with youngsters like them. They can be a hassle, but at least it's a new hassle. This game literally slapped fucking blush on this character by putting it on his shoulders. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that's what I thought at first. So I went along with whatever they asked. But I've been too nice, so they keep pushing work onto me. Maybe if I hadn't been so helpful, they would have stayed out of my face like they stay out of yours. I don't have a face. <laughs> That's not the point. Aren't you even listening to what I'm saying here? You need to make up your mind. You and I got on this ship alongside these people. 
who are putting themselves in great danger in order to live the lives of their choosing. If you don't like it, then go on and get off this ship with your tail between your legs. Yeah, except I don't have a tail right now. I got nothing. I literally got nothing. This is the end now? Whoa! I got an arcane bottle of that shit. Oh my god. I can repair beds if you need a rest. The oldest known map of the world was made by... Wow, it took them decades! You always look so happy when you've got your nose in a book. What's so interesting about the one you've got there? It's a book about surveying. When I read it, I can imagine myself traveling afar and making maps of the world. It sounds like so much fun. I know just how you feel. I know Mogilu and the others don't understand. But I just can't help but feel excited when I think about us completing a map of the entire world. It's the thought of treasure that gets me more fired up! Obviously, there's treasure waiting to be unearthed too, but that's more of a bonus on the side. Crossing uncrossable oceans, going to lands where none have gone before. The voyage itself, the dance with death, these things hold value greater than that of any treasure. Ah, adventure! Truly the romance of the quest we call life! Luffy said you had a map, didn't you? The one you dropped when we first met? It's a world map I got when I was with the Abbey. But I only checked out the place really close by. I could hardly call it adventure. That's fair. There's more to adventuring than visiting far off lands and sailing stormy seas, you know. Adventures are about achieving your ambitions and leaping across the walls we've built to protect ourselves. No matter the danger that waits on the other side. There are no big or small adventures. Even if I only went to Helavis in the Fegal Ice Caps? Think of it like this. When you sneaked out of town without the Abbey noticing, when you walked the land and compared it to your map, how did that make you feel? It was scary, but fun. Exhilarating. Then it was an adventure. The map you made within yourself is a treasure that's only yours. Wow, my very own treasure. Is another side quest? Whoa! Awesome! Hey, I thought we were watching anime. This basically is an anime, Nefri. Also, the welcome back. He has a spare moment. He buries himself in his books. Knowledge opens up bigger worlds. I imagine that back when Teresa was bossing him around, reading was a fun escape, an adventure in and of itself. Hmm? What's up, you guys? You're reading a pretty hard book there, aren't you? This? It's about dinosaurs. It says that long before humans were around, these huge creatures ruled the world. Oh, the bush is kicking so in. Oh, no. I'm kinds, sorry. Like Tyrannosaurs and Triceratops and Brachiosaurs. They're all so cool. They look like dragons to me. They look similar, but dinosaurs couldn't live inside volcanoes, and they didn't do well in the cold either. But they were crazy huge and strong. Nothing else could even compete with them. I bet they would have made for great sparring partners. I think this Gigantospinosaurus might be my favorite. Those two what huge points fuck? sticking out from both sides of its body make it look just like you and your two swords. Actually, it's also known as the dual-bladed dragon. Wow, that really does sound like a perfect match for me then. 
Okay, so if they weren't dragons, what were they? They look a lot like lizards. Maybe they're like my ancestors or something. Oh my but god. But used to be a human. <laughs> Damn. I think I might have gotten a bit too used to this new body of mine. I wonder if their tails can fall off too. You know? That's a good question. I wonder if a T-Rex could just like lose its tail and be like, Oh shit! Well, now I gotta regrow another one. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, I hope you're doing well though, Nifri. Like, I hope it doesn't- I hope the booster shot doesn't like co completely and utterly just kick your ass. I'm in danger. Oh my god. Wait, why are you in danger? Woman, that's not good. Wait, if you're in danger, does that mean your tail is going to come off too? So that way you can run away? Is this motherfucker? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh shit, maybe. Dude, imagine. Like, the moment you get uh, the booster shot, like, you start walking away and your tail just falls off and you're like, oh shit, well. Damn, where that Tylenol is. Hey, yo, go, you haven't taken Tylenol, what the fuck? Nifri. Go get some damn Tylenol. Hell, no. what do you mean hell not? If you're over here in danger, then you need some fucking Tylenol. No reply this time either? Nah, but she's doing okay. I can say that much. That's good to hear. I can rest easy then. Now's about getting that pot wrapped. I has got this new sunflower print, huh? How's that sound? Hmm. Yeah, that one's cute enough. Let's go with that. Did... Did he just say cute? Help you with something? Someone dropped this letter. Do you have any idea who it might? You didn't read it, did you? Wait, it's yours? We didn't read it. <laughs> Much. <laughs> you really didn't read it? N no, of course not. Put this letter in with the package. Hughes got it. When you ship with he the wrote it? Express, Rest assured, your mail is in good hands. If you're done here, we're ready to head out. Our destination is Midgand. Yeah, I'm all set. Was he sending a gift to someone? And with a letter, too. Gotta be a lady friend, that's for sure. You think? Either way, that letter was really polite. And did you see that penmanship? Yeah, I didn't know old Reaps had it in him. I can hear you two, you know. Aizen, Nurokuro. Yikes. Better watch what we say from now on. Yeah. A nickname for Magidu. I noticed you've come up with your little name for the kid. You sure are the sentimental type, aren't you? Oh? Calling him Fee doesn't cost me anything. And it's not like I gave it much thought. That may be the case, but no one else has taken even that token effort. And in doing so, I wonder if maybe you were trying to encourage him to be his own being. After all, one requires a name before he can consider his own identity. Having been given a name, he realizes he is his own entity, separate from others, and a certain formless essence comes to life inside him. And you're the one who set that process in motion for the kid. Whether you intended to or not, you changed him from a puppet into a living being. So, what's your point? I've been with you since the start of this journey, haven't I? Wouldn't kill you to give me a nickname, would it? I've never really thought of us as being that close. And besides, you just forced your way into the group. Come now! I know you've got a bigger heart than that! Surely you have it in you to give a nickname to a dear friend! We're not dear friends. And even if we were, 
I'm not good at nicknames anyway. Please, I'm begging you. Oh my god. Okay then. Moggy. Oh come on, that's so obvious. Can't you put some heart into it for your dear friend? Fine. Lou. Do I look like an old man to you? <laughs> I'm <not even> trying. <laughs> okay then. Witchy Mick Witcherton. <laughs> Interesting. Well, if I had to rank it against 1,000 other nicknames, I'd probably put it at number 1,011. A nickname needs to have charm. It needs to leave a lasting impression. Sure, then. Hattie. Now you're just saying what you see! <laughs> Book skirt. That's not any better, either! Ms. Creepy Eyes. That's just an insult! Look, no nicknames based on what you see, and especially no slandering! Lil Miss Witch who smiles around you but stabs you in the back when you're not looking. Hey, that's personal information! <laughs> Look, I told you. I'm not good at coming up with nicknames. Forget it! I should have known this wouldn't work! She, she, she fucking told you up front, like, yo, I can't do this! Oh my god. Uh, I love Maggie Lou. And Laffy says, like, baby rage, question mark? Aizen, what happened to those octopuses? Dial and Kurogane took them to the kitchen. They said they were going to make dinner for Kamoana. They're going to feed demons to her? Atheria needs malevolence to survive. That's why they carried them off alive. What do they plan on making? Octopus ink pasta with takoyaki and fried octopus on the side, uh... and Helovician octopus carpaccio. Do they have a takoyaki pan here at the prison? Kurogane hammered one out with some iron. Along with a large pot for the pasta. <laughs> Still looking like that? Takoyaki would hit the spot right about now, though. Octopus ink pasta, huh? Like squids, octopuses release ink as a defensive mechanism. But theirs is made of different stuff and is used in other ways. Squid ink is stickier and acts like a decoy. But octopus ink spreads out like a cloud of smoke. But squid ink has 30 times the savory flavor. So octopus ink isn't used in pasta all that often. Laffy told me the same thing. He said that's why octopus ink pasta isn't very good. Laffy said that? Yeah, so I ended up not making it for him. But I wonder... I guess it doesn't matter, since I can't taste it now. I'll taste it for you then. So make me some octopus ink pasta sometime, all right? All right, and I'll be sure to make some that doesn't come from demons. All right, fair enough. <gasps> who is the letter for? Hey, who did Eisen send that letter and cooking pot to anyway? I don't want to think about it. That walloping still stings. You've got to be curious though, right? Maybe. It was serious stuff. Whoever it is must be important to him. A lover, maybe. Eisen's lover? A child wouldn't be happy with that cooking pot, and a man wouldn't want it wrapped up so pretty. A young woman with Aizen's tastes, then. He'd be bound to fall for a miraculous match like that, right? I don't know. I bet she's that girl with the yellow umbrella. You really have a thing for her, don't you? I do not. That's not what I mean. Then pray tell. What do you mean? Huh? Eavesdropping, Eleanor? How unseemingly rude of you. Besides, Lafayette is free to like whoever he chooses. You're one to talk about eavesdropping, Moggy Lou. Anyway, it's just that the sunflower design on the wrapping reminded me of her. That's fair. Now that you mention it, but does it really matter? He has someone to write to in any case. True. I can't help but feel a bit envious. What a nice way of summing it up, Velvet. So you were eavesdropping too, then. Uh. <laughs> Picky Eisen, hello. Say... What do you think about Aizen? Oh, so that's the kind of guy you're into, hmm? Huh, not what I'd expect, but... No! I just feel there's something different about him. The way he picks presents, the objects that catch his eye. Oh, is that all? Boring. No kidding. All men have some kind of particular interest, big or small. I suppose that's true, but he seems a bit... Shall we say, overly obsessive? Now that you mention it, he does have a tendency to ramble on about various topics. And it's not just the items he collects. There's more to it? Every weekend he eats curry for dinner, and every time we go into port, he docks at the third bollard. 
Come to think of it, I heard the galley crew complaining that he always needs his pasta cooked exactly the right way. And when he needs a new outfit, he always goes to the same tailor and returns with identical clothes and boots. It all has to be exactly the same size and in exactly the same color. Turtle says he's very nitpicky. Sounds like he's not so much picky as he is a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I do see a different side of it's him fair. now. fair. I thought pirates were all rough and filthy, but it seems they can be quite meticulous. Not much of a reassessment. It is what it is, I guess. Two-headed coin? I'm getting so many of these. It must not feel great only ever getting tails, I bet. Nah, I don't really mind that much. It's way too late for me to start letting that bother me. Yeah, but wouldn't it be nice to get heads at least once? Hell, I know I'd like to see that, and I bet Laffy said here does too. Yeah, I do. Right? That's why I've brought something a little special. Ta-da! What's so special about that coin? It looks identical to the one Aizen already has. The front side does, yes. But both sides of the coin are actually heads. I had Kurogane make it for me custom. If both sides are heads, then not even the Reaper's curse can stop it. That's well, a yeah, G that's fucking cheating. G. What's the point in getting heads if it's rigged that way? It's not cheating. It's called effort and hard work. How? If you always work hard and never give up, you'll make your own way forward. All right, I'm in. I'll get that heads for you. What? That crow just flew up with the coin. Those birds are attracted to shiny objects, I suppose. Damn it. I can't even win against a crow. Don't sweat it. I figured something like this might happen, so I had a backup ready. Yeah. On, give it a shot. You'll show that curse who's boss this time. All right. Here goes. I don't believe it! Now Prince Percival's griffin's gone and eaten the other coin right out of the air! Are you kidding me? Not to worry. I've got a spare backup. What it's time the to put that fuck? curse on notice. Right. Here I go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Reaper's curse or not, does it really have to go this far over a damn coin? It's fine, really. I had a feeling it'd turn out like this. Well, I sure didn't. <laughs> yeah, How me the neither. Fuck? Okay, first of all, I gotta say this really quickly. Rokuro's a bro for actually being like, yo, I I got you, dude. I like I have an idea and I got you. With fucking spares. Like, honestly, Rokuro's a, a bro for actually trying. But, oh my god! I wasn't expecting that last one to just outright shatter the coin. That was some shit, if I do say so myself. What the fuck? Oh. I was like, what the fuck are you? I thought it was like a, a like, uh, uh, okay, I don't know. It's fine. May I ask you a question? What? You're an Earth Moloch, yes? Why live on the sea when your kind sinks in water? I live on the sea because I'm an Earth Moloch. I'd be curious to hear more. Ifried used to go on about how we should accept what we were born with. But one time he joked about the idea of a pirate who couldn't swim. And he laughed and laughed. I wanted to clobber him right then and there. But it wouldn't have changed the fact that I can't swim. I didn't want some predestined elemental affinity to control who I was. Instead, I underwent tough training to overcome it. Well, I guess that's one way to approach it. Did this training of yours bear any fruit? Well, as soon as I stepped into a river, a big flood brought down a landslide from the mountains and swallowed me up. Then, when I tried going into a lake, the seaweed suddenly multiplied and tangled around my body, nearly drowning me. And then, finally, when I tried jumping into the ocean, 
A huge whirlpool formed with me at its very center. Oh. The Reaper's curse at play? As far as I'm concerned, my Earth affinity and my Reaper's curse aren't much different. And that they've both shackled me since I came into being. This Fuck. is about pushing and challenging the constraints I was born with. Oh. So, did you eventually learn how to swim? Pretty much, yeah. As long as I never let go of my portable life preserver. <laughs> oh. Huh. I mean, it's why they exist. This man puts Crow to shame. You know? <laughs> You're not wrong. You are not wrong at all. Oh, miss me that much, did you want me in? Fine by me. All right. Yeah, you are not wrong about that in the slightest, uh, VV. Like, damn. Because with Crow, it was definitely much more subtle. But with... <laughs> but with fucking Aizen, it's literally just like, no. Just no. You, you... I must, I must just say no. You, you, just no. That's fucked, dude. Hey, Aizen? Is there, uh, anything we can do about the Prince's Hawk? Griffin, I mean. Every day, it goes out on these hunts or whatever, and brings back the weirdest stuff. It's making a real mess out of the deck. Hawk's hunt. What's the big deal? Well, yeah. At first, it was bringing back good stuff like seaweed and fish, things we could cook with. Sure, I was glad for a while. But then it started to escalate. Now we're talking 150 kilo amber camps and 350 kilo killer swordfish that it's catching. That's not a bad thing, is it? It just needs more to eat. It is when they're being dropped from the sky onto the deck. Especially those killer swordfish and razor sharp bills. What if somebody gets run through by one? Can't you just warn the prince that his bird needs to be more careful? Yeah, we could, but he looks so happy watching his hawk, I hate to spoil it for him. Yeah, the prince looks so happy whenever Griffin is flying free. He kept grinning and asking Grocky all nice like if he wanted to fly some more. Grocky? Grocky? That's what Kamawana kept calling Griffin. She says she came up with it by combining Griffin and Hawk. That... <sighs> Okay, this that is makes probably sense. the first time in the prince's life that he's tasted any freedom. His whole life, he's only done what duty dictated of him. Letting Griffin fly was his first free act. To the prince, Grocky is an extension of who he is. He actually, what? So okay. what are we going to do? Nothing really. It's not like it really hurt anybody. But it's punctured some major holes on the deck. I'm sure even the prince knows when to rein it in. Let him have a little fun. He deserves it. I don't know about all that. I'd say the prince is letting his newfound freedom get the better of him. Hey, I was just up on deck and it looks like Griffin's caught an elephant tuna this time. An elephant tuna? That's the really big tuna that can swallow a killer whale whole, right? What the That almost fuck? sounds like a demon to me. Yep, huge fish, gills like elephant ears. I saw it myself. From the looks of it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a demon. It's crazy valuable. On a good day, it can fetch 20 million gold on the market. But there's something ominous about seeing it hovering in the air above the ship. 20 million gold? I take back everything I said. Oh my the prince god. Can do whatever they want. Did she say above the ship? Oh, hell. Benwick, we need to stop Prince Percival. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> hey, don't drop that on the deck. Are you listening to me? There's no way that just fucking dropped something that massive on the fucking ship itself. Oh my god. Alright, so I need to go back to Port Zexon. Hmm. Alright, I need to go north for that side quest. I Okay, there's that point there for the class 4. Hmm. The skipper's letter is a forbidden subject among the crew. Best leave, best leave it alone. And with that warning out of the way, we're ready to set sail. 
the crustacean quarter. Huh. Aberrant, beast, and crustacean. Okay, so I assume there's going to be a lot of crustacean, like, demons then. Yeah, look at those things. All right. I need to find the freaking cat's box here. Eh, it's more than... Oh, there it is. At least on that, uh, on that note, at least they're, like, consistent with where they tend to put the cat's boxes. Do this. Okay, wind, water, and earth. Okay, so hit these dudes with wind, water, and earth with those dudes, but I need to make sure that I don't get stung by these dudes. Weakness to fire. Okay. Mr. Wind. Oh, these are different. Okay. Take out the purple ones first. I can take out those later. They're weak to wind. Oh my god damn it. Alright, cool. Performo victory! Performost? Basically perfect, but you know, playing it cool. Feldspar pendant. Maybe don't invent new words. Ooh. Avengers Ventite allows one to use uh, the use of Break Soul in counterattacks on normal difficulty or higher. Ooh. In counterattacks? Ooh. Fancy. All right. Uh... OK. 
Okay, you get that. Resistance shoes are done. It's more focus, so... Yeah, I'll give him the burning dash. Yeah, let's go over that. Mobius loop is done. Um, this. Oh, cool. That's all done. So you go ahead and get a slow ward now. Uh, let's see. Oh, cool. So your daggers are done. Cumbrous. Is next flame ward, uh, slow and shock. I guess we'll give you a shock ward. Cool, this works. I just realized is that hang on. Oh, well, I mean, all right, we're about to visit the port, I guess. I can actually check it out there at the port. I uh, do need to go there. Huh. I'm not able to visit the upper north. All right. Up to Zexan it is, then. Hmm? The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains, to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. There you'll find one of ours who actually saw the demon. You want to know more? That'd be a good place to start. Alrighty then. Got it. Hey, that's the same direction I sent. Give the... Tabitha our thanks. Cool. Yeah, might not want to be spreading that. It's looking more and more like we're on the right track. We ought to go check out that Bloodwing story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Aizen, did I say something wrong back there? No. I just didn't think we needed to give the Bloodwings any information for free. Huh? He means the Earth Pulse points, kid. We're the only ones who know about them. But... Aren't we on the same side as the Bloodwings? We're not enemies with them. But I wouldn't go so far as to call them our friends, either. Yeah. That's just how it goes in the underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat. A poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. He was here waiting for us, even though we hadn't told anyone where we were going. You're right! They That's hardly know fair. the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. But the more tricks we can keep up our sleeve, the better. We've got each other's back, but only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the Underworld. That sounds terrible. But at least you can trust that Tabitha's cooking will be tasty. That is fair. <laughs> Can't argue that. I am going to quickly save first.
This is everyone's first time to Stonebury, right? Why was it blocked off? Demons? No, there was a great tornado on the Aldina Plains that swallowed up a whole merchant caravan. A Hundreds tornado? In an the cooling of the climate is causing bouts of odd weather. Thunderstorms, heavy downpours, and the like. Correct. The Abbey is keeping a tight guard on traffic through the affected areas. If it's open now, that must mean the tornado is gone. I wonder what sort of place it is. It's quite lovely. In the vast forest to the east, you can find gemstones, and it's teeming with rare plants and insects. The locals trade only as much meat and hides as they need, and they live peaceful, quiet lives. You sure know a lot about this place. It's where the Norman he first fell in love with grew up. Bien! Oh my god. Alright, that works. Though we are apart from each other now, our hearts are still as one. Bien, food, get back at the Pokeball. After you and I made our <laughs> pact and set off, she fell in love with some macho Norman and moved away. <gasps> what? Why haven't I heard about this? How long have you known? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I found out during my long search for you. Or maybe it was right after we left. I remember leaving something in the village and going back to... Oh, well, not like it matters. It does matter! There's no sense in crying over a fickle girl. Come, Stonebury awaits. <laughs> That's fucked, but fair enough. All right, let me just make sure that I don't have a zero on any of this. Oh! Octopus and Okonomi sauce. Ah, damn it. I need more coarse tempering powder. Fuck. All right. Oh, God damn it. This is just a two. Damn it. All right. Scraps. Morning. Good morning, Sir Joppa. Welcome, my dude. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? God damn it. I need more coarse tempering fragments. All right. Well, that's a big ass rip to say the least. Or bronze scraps at that. I'm just gonna playing Apex and watching some uh, SAO. Got a work meeting at 9 a.m. Oh my. Oh, uh, I just realized you watch SAO? Is it your first time watching it? Or.
Seen up to season four. Gotcha. Wait, season four. Isn't that the latest season? Or am I crazy? So I'm rewatching because Netflix puts out season four on Sunday. Oh, gotcha. Huh. Okay, so you've seen season three, but you haven't started season four yet. Gotcha. Standard tempering powder. Oh, shit. It's fair enough. Uh... Damn. Yeah, I was pretty excited about it. And season, and, uh, season 12 of Apex drops Tuesday. Oh, wow. That's actually really soon. Um, uh... And yeah, dude, honestly, you're going to love uh, the most recent season of SAO if you've been uh, loving it so far. It's honestly, I, I thought it was really good. It was honestly completely worth it. I actually that's a lot of paper that I should probably dismantle yeah I'm gonna dismantle all of that There we go, much better. I have Kitty Two as a badass. He can be when he wants to be, honestly.
I think the second season when he cuts down the bullets with the photon sword. Oh, you mean the lightsaber? <laughs> all know that the only reason why it was called a photon sword was because they didn't have the rights to call it a lightsaber. We all know that was the whole reason for that. <laughs> No Kikita to thought uh it was uh Loki Kikita to thought it he was like it's uh never mind. Well he knew. Yeah. Yeah the 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 freaking like the producers they know. They know what they had and what they made. They just literally like they didn't have the rights to call it a uh a lightsaber. Keeping that. Alright, we're fine on rings, boots, that's actually a lot of boots. Alright, we're fine with these. Cool. Is there anything more I can enhance here? Um... Let's see... So belt stays as is. So, so uh, you play Smash Bros. Ultimate? I do not. I don't even have a Switch right now. Why? Also, Divine Dresser, welcome back, my dude. I hope you're doing, uh, I hope you're doing well. We <laughs> you're being sued by Disney. Dude, seriously. And then the Shino uh, story portion, Gungeo is still my least favorite story arc from SAO so far. That's fair enough. Like, I didn't mind it all too much, honestly. I thought it was cool. Yeah, they like that. Here we go. Hmm. 
I'm getting confused by uh, season three. Um, uh, the first time I watched it, the second time we watched it, it makes sense to me this time. Yeah. Yeah, e <laughs> All right. Holy fuck. All right. Yeah, the start to season three was like, uh, what the fuck? And like, I was like, am I watching the right an anime? Hello? Or is, this, is this the right Is this episode one? Am I missing something? And then eventually when I, when I realized that it was like, uh, kind of like a, all right, like, just accept this for now and we'll explain later kind of thing. I was like, all right. I, I, I decided to roll with it, for, uh, roll with it from there. It was still pretty good. Honestly, season 3 and 4, by far my favorite seasons of, of SAO. The Eastern Plain is finally open for travel. I hear that the people of Stoneberry are alive and well. My husband and I can breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> I wasn't worried about him at all. He talks tough, but he was really worried. Oh, sorry you don't know who we're talking about. It's his apprentice. What kind of apprentice? My husband's an architect. Even the royal family and the abbey commission his work. He's been at the docks here on a job. He just finished and we're about to return to Logris. These people don't care about all that. Season Why did your apprentice good? go to Stonebury? He's young and talented, but a bit eccentric. He said he wanted to help create a new town, so he set off to the frontier. A craftsman has to focus on his work. Creating a new town. Ha! He should know his place. But my husband didn't disown him. That boy's fearlessness reminds me of my husband when he was young. Oh so God. you understand how he feels then? I didn't say that. If he thinks he has the talent, he's free to do as he likes. But if he doesn't follow through with it to the end... I'll be done with him. Did you hear that? He thinks the boy can do it. If you ever find yourself in Stonebury, go visit that boy's workshop. <laughs> right, I'll do that. Alrighty then. Sorry about my husband. He can be a real grump. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty used to people like that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Lol. Fucking get called out. <laughs> I like the original uh, beginning story arc, but uh, most, but I do like the newest arc. Dude, fucking season. So I do have a friend of mine that she loves SAO, but she could not get behind uh, season, basically the whole anesthetization arc because she felt it became too gory for no reason. And I was like, no. I think they had good reason for it. Basically, she felt like it, they just took, like, leaps and bounds that she just... It was not... Like, she felt like the, it, the show didn't need, and I was like, I think it did. It, I Like, personally, I felt it went in a good direction. Like, with the fact that, it, hey, this is actual, like, AI stuff. Like, if you were to actually live in, in a virtual... People living in a virtual world, but, like, it's not a game. It's, it's actual, like, people believe they live within the vir virtual world that they just don't know it's a virtual world. So. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Uh, there are going to be people who not like el elicitization, and I just don't get why I enjoy it. I think, okay, I think for a good part of it, why is, is not so much of, like... I don't think it's so much of, like, they don't like it for the fact that um, it's a bad story or that one thing or another. I think it's more so on the on the uh, end of, like, the story at this point be has become extraordinarily drawn out. Like, they could have completely ended the show at literally, like, episode 12. Or just literally within the first season. Mm, but they continued it. And they could, then they continue with season two. And then they gave it a season three. And then they gave it a movie. And then they also gave it a season four. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I can feel, I can certainly feel like, okay, this is like, at some point, it's just like, really? Because even with me, like with the newest movie that came out, and I was like, 
Why is this a prequel? Or like not a prequel, but like a different point of view of like season one through Asuna's point of view. Why? I was like, do we really need this? And it's just one of those things where it's like, I can kind of vibe with like, but like, yeah, I don't, I'm like, yeah. Like, I understand it. It's just, yeah. I haven't seen the movie. I haven't seen the, uh, I've seen the first movie. I haven't seen the second movie. And you don't like SAO at all, VB? That's fine. Honestly, to each their own. Um, uh, but, yeah, no. Uh, the most recent season of uh, War of the Underworld, dude, I lost my absolute shit. I thought it was really good. I'm so happy things have been peaceful around the capital. I can come to the harbor to shop without fear. I heard that those demons that made a mess of the palace have been wrecking towns all over, though. But Shepherd Artorius and the fine folks at the Abbey are on the job. I bet those demons are quaking in their britches. Let's hope that's the case. Of course it is. Lord Artorius is incredible. The demons have been mostly cleared from the area around the capital. Your love for the Abbey and the Shepherd are great and all, but I'd keep it down. If you keep poking around the bushes, you might catch yourself a snake. Uh, a snake? There's a rage-crazed girl out there who hates the Abbey. She's a real viper, oh that one. Oh my god. She sounds awful. That's what I hear. Who are you calling a viper? Nice episode special really good thing. Dude, they were so fucking good. Oh my god, like... They, and like, okay, here's my, okay, here's my only thing that I didn't like about, uh, season, I, oh, uh... you know, what? okay, I'll just, I'll just say it like this without giving, getting out spoilers, is that, they should have ended it with season four. That's it. That, I'm just. I'm not gonna say any more than that because I also don't want to spoil it for uh, Sir Joffrey since I know he's looking forward to watching it. Yeah, like, just, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> okay, so I need to go to. Holy fuck. Wow, that's a, one way to go about that. Okay, there's still a side quest here. There's an unknown area there that I know I wasn't able to visit because uh, story reasons didn't let me. Uh, that's all done, that's all done. So I literally, okay, so I haven't been to this continent at all. So I literally just need this here. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna need to head south. A character model they chose for Austin to portray. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. No, I know, I know. All right, how do I want to... All right, I need to go south. Oh, there's a side quest in Logris. I know that was just so good that we could never get out of there. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was like all astounded with like the movie and whatnot that was gonna be coming out. I was like, what? Why? Uh, anyways. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm eventually gonna watch the second movie at some point. I don't. I'm not like wholly sure when I would end up doing so, but I, I know I will eventually. I know. That's what I said. Mogilu. Do you know what? how to speak dog? Of course. It's Witchery 101. Wow. What's it saying? Humans always say every dog has its day, but I've never met a dog that had its own day. What about me? When's my time in the limelight? As you can see, he's very upset. Sorry, boy. It's a dog eat dog world out there. Alrighty then. <sighs> well, with that side quest done, what the fuck? There's another side quest? What? Bleh, that wasn't there. Oh well, I'll see it whenever I actually log back in. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up here, guys. It is time for me to get off and head to bed myself. It is two in the morning and time for my nap. Uh, I'm already 50 and a half hours into this game. Lol, oops, I guess. I know I've been stalling out a little bit of that like here and there, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head out here, guys. Um, uh, yeah, I had an absolute blast tonight, though. That was, uh, yeah, I call it, uh, tonight's stream ex ex uh, success. That was really fun. It honestly was. Um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some, all right, for sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any raids tonight, I don't think. Uh, yeah, no raids tonight. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you all uh, scatter. You can head out towards where, wherever you need to. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun tonight. I really did. So, really quickly, for those of you that uh, didn't know. Uh, so, tomorrow night, no stream. I'll be back on Monday night. And letting you all know, for those of you that I didn't get the announcement, whether on Discord or on yesterday's stream... Uh, Wednesday is going to be my two-year affiliate anniversary, so it's going to be oodles and oodles of fun. I'm going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! that night with the chat and whatnot, and if anybody wants to come in and play a game or two or, what, or whatever, I'm totally down for whatever. It should be a lot of fun, eh? <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, with that being said, thank you everybody so much for coming. We all have an absolutely wonderful rest of your night and morning. Harles, thank you so much for the raid. Husband, thank you so much for the resub. To the bones, thank you so much for the raid. Sacred Emo of Light, thank you so much for the Fallen. Dinner Man of 42, thank you so much for the Fallen. I will see you all next time. Later.